Hey, happy Tuesday, everyone, from a, from the Friday world. It's 47. Yeah, that was confusing. This is episode 47. <laughs> we post them on every Tuesday, so we always like to brag to the people who are listening on Tuesday that we're all experiencing the, the weekend. Yeah. yeah. And theirs is over. And yeah. then they turn off the podcast because they're pissed at me. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear <laughs> yeah, this. I know, right? um, I'll have to go to work right now. Ian, everyone stop listening 15 seconds in. we got <laughs> to cut it out, man. we got to stop teasing. we got to cut it out. Ryan, man, welcome back. Woo! Thank you. I will be using my NPR voice. Uh, oh. uh, you got to go. Oh, you got to okay. go. You got to go. That's all things enough. considered. Yeah. <laughs> We've done that before. I could also do ASMR. You, oh, oh, that's what we were doing. We were doing ASMR. Oh, okay. it, was, it got real sweaty. For a <laughs> uh, so for any listeners that have, I don't know when you started listening, but Ryan, you joined us back in uh, November. Yeah. That was be Star Wars it. Battlefront 2. You that's had right. just finished your wow. review, and that was our topic. Like, Ooh, Tell us crazy. about your review. Uh, so for those who don't know, Ryan uh, works at Cinema Blend, or well, works for CinemaBlend.com. Uh, so he reviews games. Go check it out. Yay! Writes a ton of inter- uh, all kinds of great articles. So and uh, we talked about it last time. How would you define your role there? Like uh, if you gave yourself a title, they call me contributor. Contributor. I, I that's write right. like two articles a day, okay. and then reviews whenever they come along. Okay. And- Something like that, yeah. So what was the last game that you reviewed? The last game I reviewed would be... Well, I did a back-to-back... Uh, would have been Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah. Well, yeah, I remember at E3 even asking about that. I was like, so it's Dragon Ball Fighter Z, And they're like, no, it's Fighters. I'm like, why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was into the name until you told me it was Fighters. Uh, just we can call it Fighter Z because honestly, that's what I thought it was. Everyone's calling it that. Yeah. yeah. By the way. It yeah, should be. You're uh, the first person I've heard call it Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. And right after that, I did Monster Hunter World. Oh, and, I was going to ask. Okay, cool. And so, I am still playing Monster sure Hunter World uh, because... Yeah. I'm sure we'll get into that. Because we, we mentioned that because as we always open the podcast with what we've been playing. And I was like, cool. You, I, I want someone who has played that because I don't... None of our group has really jumped yeah. into it too yeah. much. I think Taylor's played it, but for the most part... Kevin's waiting for PC. Um, PC release? I'm, okay. I'm afraid to touch it. I'm intimidated like, by yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It, so I'm hoping it, it to talk to someone. Be. Yeah, but and by that I mean about how like if it's if you're the kind of person who will just lose yourself in a game, if it hooks, you're gone, man. Yeah. Like it, I, normally I'm not super into grinding in games anymore. No, I'm, neither I'm, am I. I'm, I'm, I'm a grown ass man. I only have so much time that I can spend in games. So if if, if any of that time feels like uh, my time isn't being respected, yeah, like, that yeah. can bother me. Totally agree. But when it turns out the entire hook <clears> of the game is. I guess you could call it a grind. It's uh, get gear, kill a monster, make cooler gear out of that monster. That's pretty cool. Go fight a bigger monster. Yep. And you just do that. And I am 40 hours in. I haven't been 40 hours into a game. And I know a lot of people hear 40 hours and they're like, that ain't nothing. I haven't had the ability or the time to yep. get 40 hours into a game in a long time. Wow. Um, so And it keeps bringing me back. I just... I keep thinking, all right, I'm going to put it down for a little while, try something <laughs> else out. And I'm like, but I don't quite have that suit of armor fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to hunt that one monster like six more times. Um, <laughs> six more That sounds horrible. No, it, no, no. But it's it, all really good. I get it, I get uh, oh, here, here's the fun part. I realized this, uh, the most recent th- thought was, uh, I'm, I'm 40 hours into the game, and I'm like, I think it's time I pick up a second weapon. Uh, I haven't tried. Wow! I, I tried them all, you know, yeah. to figure out what oh, I was sure, going to like. try it out and stuff like that. Um, and <clears> then I got the into the. It's called the insect glaive, where you've got this bug that you send out, and it can collect. I'm not going to get too granular here. Anyway, and you've got a, a, a basically a glaive, um, and you fly around in the air, smacking what? the monsters what? with it. It's it's so so while everybody else is on the ground swinging their swords and stuff real You're slow, like leaping. I'm flying through the air like crouching tiger, hidden dragon over <laughs> yeah. here. Like. <laughs> and uh, I, I've been enjoying it so much, but I finally hit a point where I'm like, yeah, I'm getting to the point where I need to use more specialized weapons, and instead of making glaives of different elements, so like, I've got a fire glaive, but if I need a water-based weapon, I'm just going to make a water-based weapon that's something else. So I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. force myself to use more of the weapons because I'm really enjoying it, but I'm like, there's another 13 weapons that I haven't dug into yet. Um, Gosh. And there's just so many missions and so yeah. many things to collect and so many things to do. And I've got a cat that I made look like my I real cat. cat. Yes, my, the palicos are the so palico cute. Is the best thing. Uh, right now, uh, he's wearing armor. There she is wearing armor that looks like the uh, the watchers Watcher from, from Horizon. 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 Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like I, it's so cool. gonna. I've got much better gear for her now, 
and I refuse to put it on her because I'm like, but she's a watcher. She's she's a little watcher. watcher. It even has the little blue uh, oh, like oh spotlight, God. and when we get into a fight, the light goes red. Oh, oh that's, that's just, so. Oh, that's and so they're gonna do the, uh, the they're gonna do the Aloy uh, skin soon, where yes, male or female, your character just looks like Aloy. Yeah. If you, if you, put, if you build the armor. Yeah. How does that work if you are male? You're just a big guy it, with you, orange no, no, dreads. You, you just really? look like it just you makes you look exactly, makes, oh, exactly like, like okay, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, And they gotcha, got Street Fighter skins that are coming out soon that look ridiculous. But I'm like, all right, okay. <laughs> oh, whatever. Right. I don't care. But That's now I'm funny. just like, I'm now I'm thinking of all these other crossovers. I'm like, I want Pacific Rim monsters in this game. Yes. I want uh, Godzilla. Maybe? Godzilla, Godzilla would be good. I, I want to go uh, like B roll type stuff. Okay. Like, uh, okay. Something on the uh, up. Uh, we were uh, Cloverfield. Like maybe some oh, other yeah. Cloverfield yeah. monster. Some you know. Um, really, anything with a monster, I want to stab it with a sword yeah, at yeah. this point. But or a glaive. Yeah, or a glaive. Do you, <laughs> not to give away too much, you bring up Cloverfield. Do you fight things on that scale? Yeah, um, not not. No, like, if we're talking like the main Cloverfield monster, no. Oh, okay, but yeah. True, they true. get well. Um, we'll call you it like Elder the little, Dragons that are massive. Yeah, there's yeah. A, yeah. There, well, the, technically there is a monster in the game mm. that is that big. It's uh, I'm gonna butcher its name. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to think. It's <laughs> basically a walking volcano. Um, Damn, that, that's the ma- the game starts off. You're chasing this thing, trying to figure out why it's migrating to the new world. Yeah. Um, and you kind of fight it. You're on its back, looking for nodes that you're give it. it like you don't actually like fight. <laughs> yeah. Right. But they're the ones that you fight. Like you're just looking down the maw of and fighting. They get real big. Yeah. Like I, let's say twice the size of a T-Rex type thing. Jeez. Like they get big and they fly and they're mean. Yeah. And they all got different patterns and occasionally they run into each other and they're fighting each other and what? it's like you can try to jump in or you can just like let's see how this plays out. Yeah. Oh, you just uh, observe that happening? If you want to. Really? Yeah, if that's you try really to get cool. caught into it, they both uh, decide that they both want to attack you, and that's not <laughs> fun. Oh, yeah. God. There's just, there's, there's a, there's a lot in that game, and... Is the AI yeah. pretty good, then? Like, yeah, it's very good. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very, very good. They're... I mean, you kind of you kind of discover the routines of the monsters, but that actually is intentional. You're supposed to know if I hit this monster enough and it starts to get weakened, it's going to run. It'll probably run to its maybe its hunting ground or to its like where it makes its lair, and it's going to try to go to sleep to recover some of its health or something like that. You start to learn the patterns of the different monsters, which is the whole hunting bit of it. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's nice that they have a predictability <clears throat> about them, but. I, it's just it hasn't gotten boring yet to like walk to an area, come across, and be like, "All right, now how am I going to take him out this time? I'm going to try something different." Yeah, that's so. awesome. So does it is it one large open world or is it like sections the, like Dragon Age? Yeah, no. Um, there are one, two, three, four, like four main maps, and okay. each of the main maps is huge, Dang, like real okay. big. There's no load times. That, it's still divided into zones, but you don't actually. There's no split between the zones. The zones are just to help you, like, if you're telling your buddies, like, he's mm-hmm. heading towards Zone 10 or something like that. Um, it used to be, in old Monster Hunter games, in between each of the, like, little kind of areas was a load screen. Um, oh, okay. oh this yeah. This is the first oh, yeah, one like to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. This is the first yes. one where if a monster takes off and you go <clears> after him, you don't have to suddenly wait a minute, then chase him through that screen. And then you got to wait on another one. <laughs> yeah. None of that. Yeah. It's, it's all seamless. Um, the maps are... Everyone keeps referring uh, or comparing it to Dark Souls for various reasons, but the maps are interconnected oh, and like okay. all kinds of areas on top of each other. Um, but yeah, so you've got like, a, like uh, a jungly area, you got an area that's kind of a desert and swamp area, you've got an area that's called the Coral Highlands, which is like underwater themed, but it's up in the mountains. So there's no, you're not swimming in the water. It just looks, it looks like everything's all coral and stuff. And oh, that okay. one's very vertical. Yeah. And then below that is the Rotten Vale, which is like uh, Blight Town from Dark Souls. Oh yeah. it's damn! It's nasty. People have made trailers uh, called like uh, Monster Souls, where they have, <laughs> they have the soundtrack from from that, and they just have um, probably where there's a monster again. If I ruin the names, please don't comment. Uh, <laughs> there's a suit of armor like the Anjanath armor that looks like kind of like a normal rusty suit of armor almost. Okay. Um, so they got like a view <laughs> just slowly walking through, and some of those monsters are just nasty. So it's like with a big sword fighting it to the Dark Soul soundtrack yeah, in the that's background. Cool. Like, it's like it does kind of remind me of that's Dark Souls. Awesome. In that. Yeah. So yeah, when you uh, I've heard people compare it to Dark Souls before, and you were talking about the weapons earlier and mm-hmm. how you used one weapon for forty hours. Well, in Dark Souls 2, there's this flaming sword you can find at the beginning. Right. And I beat the game three times with it. I just never wanted to get rid of it. And you find you like these crazy so weapons, like, made out of the tail of dragons. And, yeah, I was just thinking, like, it's very similar in that sense. You can just keep one weapon you like and right, basically right. use it forever. Uh, I've, right. I've upgraded the, the insect glaive, like, uh, over half a dozen times. Yeah. Well, not about a half a dozen times now, but it's still the exact same moveset. Nothing changes. Yeah, yeah, you it get changes used to it. It changes its look yeah. and stuff, but... 
Um, but that's yeah, that's good design. Yeah, yeah. it's and yeah. they're all very unique. It, every different like that's why people say experiment. So it's like how different can they be? Every weapon plays differently. They all have slightly different mechanics, slightly different little extra mm. things you mm. got to learn. Different timing, different uses. Like uh, what some of the weapons like if you do an uppercut thrust. If you're careful, you can use it to launch your teammate into the air, and they can land on the back of like what? stuff like that. You wouldn't even <laughs> think to ridiculous. do. Like there's like all kinds of neat little little uh, touches. I've heard there. like getting together is hard with friends, or like or or the first obtuse. time. The, it, it is definitely obtuse. Yeah, um, when you play the game, it drops you into a world with I think sixteen other players, but you're not actually in the world with them. They're just in the same like online in, instance yeah. or whatever. You can go to one area of the hub. And anyone who's in your instance will can be in that hub and ch- hanging out together, arm wrestling and stuff. But the <laughs> what's nice is if I go on a mission, I can set it to any d- depending on the mission. But you know, like up to four players, and I can go out on the mission. And at any point, someone could try to jump into my mission with me, and I can accept them, or I could shoot off an SOS flare. And any player who's like looking at SOSs right now, it'll That's be like, cool. you know, That's this really guy cool. needs help, and they can run in and come help out. It That's scales right, it like depending that. on the number of people. The problem is if you want to play with your friend, you got to create a room, create a code, send them the code. Yep. They use the code to get into the room with you. Oh. Interesting. And then once you do that, you can um, invite them to join like your, and you can join up to like a, a multiple numbers of, they're basically clans. Um, and it's easier once you got that once to you find each other and do that, but it's a pain in the butt to That's do it initially. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't want to make it easy. Like, I don't really know why they did it this way. <laughs> I, I've, I've thought about it, and I'm like, I got nothing. Like, there's, there's. I was trying. I was uh, thinking of something. It's like, like I got no reason that they did it that way. But <laughs> it's really easy to join strangers. To join friends the first time is a little bit of a few hoops you got to jump through. But after that, it's it's no problem. Yeah, it it's sounds, smooth too. It sounds really good. At least on the PS4. There's just so many games. I yeah, don't know, man. yeah, yeah. But I. I I'm definitely intrigued by it. Like I, I've been watching, I've watched a lot of reviews and trailers and stuff. And like, it, I played the beta too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it takes some getting used to, like the control. Like mm-hmm. I, I, it, they almost kind of like running around. Kind of felt like I was steering a sailboat a little bit. Like, okay. I, I don't know if that. I mean, it wasn't something like I'd never play the game again. Right. It's just I was noticing like it's just not. It. It's. it's Totally different. I've never played anything that felt like that right. before. Right. Eventually, you know, there. If, if if it's gonna hit with you, you're gonna have a moment where you're gonna find the right weapon. Right. And the right, and you're gonna something's gonna click, and it, it's all it's very methodical. I guess is what it's like. Sure. You're not gonna get through a button mashing unless you're you using know. one of the uh, mm-hmm. one, basically machine guns, um, gun lance. <laughs> uh, there's other. There's several. Like that's the great thing is you got sword and shield. You got a giant axe. You got a an axe that changes in or a, it's an axe that changes into a sword, a hammer. They've got a, a horn that you what? actually play, push buttons to create <laughs> tunes that okay. buff That's your amazing. teammates. That seems effective. So you play a certain tune, you like it, you whack the thing and it lands, and then you do it a certain way, and then you do it another certain. I just realized no one can see any of the things. I'm doing. <laughs> but if you do, <laughs> you hit right, it, he's left. musically yeah. moving yeah. his <laughs> body. If you whack him with this horn in the right pattern, you start playing a song that anyone in the area gets a attack buff. That's gonna. And then that's you, pretty so cool. you, your attacks are so less you can about, play like, like a support class. Yeah, that's, that's exactly cool. what it yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Then they got the bow and arrow. Ian, get over here and fight this. Not too easy. Guys are ruining my jam. <laughs> Chill out, man. I know you came to hunt, but I came to play. <laughs> These monsters just need to be soothed. I came to shred. That, that is the one. The one gripe that I will give. Well, there's probably others, but uh, the the game, tr- the story tries to kind of play with the idea of conservationism and like. We need to study these monsters. We need to learn about them. We need, yeah. but really, kill them all. It's all just kill them all. <laughs> yeah. you, can, you can capture them, but if you, <laughs> if you capture them, you get like extra uh, goodies. Oh, and cool. The idea is to encourage you to. But I'm like, well, if, if you're if you're following the uh, the fiction of this world, if I captured it and I got its pelt, its claws, its fangs, its stuff like, y'all killed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, we didn't yeah. Just it a pile of like, <laughs> yeah. oh my god. Just yeah. making you feel that they drag it off so you don't see it. Just yeah. like our bacon, you don't actually it, see yeah, how it's being made. Yeah. You just enjoy the final product. So I like the idea of them <laughs> toying with the, you know, like kind That's of you know like, hey, you know, nature is out there. It's beautiful. <clears throat> sometimes you got to watch it. Sometimes you've got to interrupt it. Sometimes you know, but the games. Uh, gameplay loop is still. I need you to go punch that thing in the face with a sword, <laughs> like real hard, like uh, until it dies. And then collect <laughs> everything. Yeah, and then collect all of the stuff. And uh, but it's still so. Good. That's a loop that can. I mean, that can yeah. really just get and you in. There's so many 
consumables and craftable. Like you can pick up all kinds of stuff. You can uh, you can fish. You got a little garden back in the hub world. You can keep going. The, the like if there's something like honey, for instance, you really need a lot of honey, and it's it's not in the map too often. <clears throat> um, you put it in your garden. You call it, like over the course of several missions, you can create like sixty of them. So like oh, okay. stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, man, I, I could keep going about that <laughs> game, but it's just it's just very good. It's got great loops within loops, and it, it just keeps you coming back. Just gotta have to feel like feel like just the few hours I played of it. It's like gotta get over the hump. If you're not initiated, I've never played Monster Hunter right. games. Get over the hump, and then and then it's totally worth. It. And also, don't be intimidated by there's there's menus on menus on menus, and all. This is the best Monster Hunter as far as onboarding goes. Um, they get you into the action. They give you just enough information. Also, they they you don't have to go to a tutorial and read a bunch of it. Like they tell you things, or they'll say things, mm-hmm. which is really nice. Um, to kind of guide you where you need to go, you're hunting very quickly. You don't spend the first like three hours gathering. Right. Uh, they drop you in really quickly, and you're hunting your first Glock monster. The yeah, so it it, it it gets you in real quick. Um, but at the same time, like even the insect glaive, you go to the tutorial area. It gives you an idea of how to use the weapon. But first thing I did, I went online and watched like four or five videos of people who were like, "All right, now here are the finer." You mm-hmm. know, it's still a game where the the community and the sharing of information is big. Like I keep coming across videos or little tips or things that the game hasn't revealed to me. But it's it's nice that now I can tell someone else. Oh no! If you grab that and do this, you can also like Dark Souls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. absolutely. Kind By of the way, mind the sharing. worst game to review is a Souls game. Oh, <laughs> okay. I would never want to. Is review it good? Is it bad? I don't know. No, well, no. The worst part <laughs> Just, is you have to get through it. No one else yeah. has it yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. you're a week out from anyone having it yet, yeah. and you can't look up any. But nowadays they do have little um, like occasionally you get like a press kit. They'll tell you like at this part, you know, this do this or this part do that or. They'll say, email us, we can help you through the stuff. Oh, because that's they've cool. come to real... But, like, back when Demon Souls was... For, no one... That oh, wasn't, my God. So it's like, I don't know what to do. Like, where did you go? That you game, go? especially. Oh, I, I couldn't... That was, you should go back oh, and play it. You know what? I wouldn't be able to. Yes, you would. It would just frustrate You've beaten me. all three Dark Souls But after games. three... Go back to Demon Souls. I, I don't know. It, it was yeah, it'd it be, would frustrate. It's very it's different. difficult. Yeah, it'd be very different. Yeah, you know. I remember like that, that. I played that bef- first, and I was so bad at it. And it was the exact same story of every Souls game I ever played. Yeah, love the art style, love the game mechanics. I want to keep playing this. <laughs> Seven hours in, I can't, can't, can't. <laughs> can't keep going. For <laughs> But I love everything about. It. I love Dark Souls. So Do you want to talk about what you've been playing? Um, yeah, sure. I was, any other games you have played at all, or uh, that's been it? That's Dragon been Ball your... Fighters, and that's just a really, really, really good fighting game from Arc System Works. If you like Dragon Ball, if you like anime, if you like fighting games, play it. It's gorgeous. It looks exactly. Like it looks show. amazing. Oh, like, I'm not a big I, Dragon Ball Z even, guy, but even just objective. After hours and hours and hours of playing it, I'm constantly going, "God, this looks so good." <laughs> um, so it's a lot of fun. Their servers are wonky half the time. Still, they they drop the ball on that. But if you like, and again, Arc System Works, who makes fantastic fighting games. I, I said years ago, if I could have like a dream crossover, well, it would have been Guillermo del Toro and, and Hideo Kojima making a Silent ooh, Hills ooh. game. Yeah, um, but, but that, that sounds done. really good. <laughs> But uh, it would have been, it's like Arc System Works <laughs> doing Dragon Ball would be like a dream, and now they've done it, and it's it came out beautifully, so That's on awesome. to you. Cool. No, um, I, I hear it's great. Yeah, I hear it's an awesome Oh, game. yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I finished the, uh, I bought the DLC for Assassin's Creed Origins. Love Origins. You enjoy Origins? Love it. Oh, I wasn't aware. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so good. Um, Are you an Assassin's Creed fan, Ian? Uh, Is that, no, hold on. I've never heard you talk about it. <laughs> um, no, it's it's uh, the cool thing, and I've I've told you this like the last three weeks. Yeah, yeah. And I keep saying it. You still the, haven't the, played the content. No, I have. Oh, okay. I, I've, oh, I finished it. Okay. I, I finished gotcha. it. But the cool thing about the, the thing I like, uh, like a minor gripe I had about Horizon, mm-hmm. is when you finish the game, there's a big final battle that kind of changes the physical state of part of the world. And then when you finish, you're like, oh, thanks for playing. Here's your credits. And then it restarts you before that event, and you still have that mission to complete. Okay. Not a real yeah. problem, just a pet peeve. I'm like, man, I finished it. Don't tell me I, I have to do this mission happens. again. <laughs> um, so I like that. And then, and then the problem that creates is you bring the DLC out. Like I played uh, Frozen Wilds, yeah, yeah. which was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, you're right at the cusp of the end of this massive story, and then narratively she's like, Oh, I'm gonna go hang out over here. <laughs> you guys see this uh, this uh, pathway over here? Check out the snow. Yeah. You see all the uh, snow over but here. Aren't, like, the world's gonna end. Uh, just 
Just hold on. Look, look how cold it is. <laughs> just a narrative bug that just gets to me a little bit. She's so, like, I've played video games. It's yeah. not that I know everyone keeps saying this is a. Re- yeah. it is, we got time. It, okay. They do justify it. Like they try to justify it. Like when you're climbing up the rocks that are going to get you to the trail to go into the DLC area. There's like a conversation you have. Um, with Silence, who's, who's kind of like the guy who's helping you through a lot of the game. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what are you doing? And, and so they do talk about it, but it's very thinly veiled. <laughs> you just gotta be like, whatever, and just move on. Just wanted to be yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> but the Hidden Ones DLC for Assassin's Creed takes place four years after the main story. So mm-hmm. You have to have beaten the game, and then it continues the story, which I like a lot. And it's just more to do with like the beginning of you know, it's their the first origins. big thing, like the what, the Romans have invaded. Yeah, so it takes place on the Sinai Peninsula, which if you can have, and see a map in your head, like there's Egypt and then there's Israel to His the hand north, is up to the northeast, and <laughs> it's in between. Oh yeah, sorry, I was talking. To you. I'm putting my hand around. So you have Egypt and then Israel, and it's like that that peninsula in between. There's more hand movement. So yeah, but it was for you guys. Oh man, okay, I, 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 mean, I don't know. At home, they're like, hold on. Flip, flip, flip. Yeah. I got a map here. There we go. Oh, there yeah, it is. There, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Very, uh, very, very easy to find. Um, but it's a whole Northeast new map. So, the, mm-hmm. and the, the base game is massive just to begin with. Mm-hmm. But it's a whole new map um, that's really different feeling, which is kind of important for DLC. I think it's still desert because you're still down there. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but it's it's cool. Like it, it's uh, and the, yeah, there's this whole the, the Romans have completely taken over now, com- total control of the whole area. And they're like enslaving them, and but it, it's all about kind of kicking off the base game. Surprisingly, for being called Origins, they really mean Origins. Mm-hmm. By the end of the base game, no spoilers or anything. But by the end of the base game, like th- there's there's still no assassins, there's still no Templar. Obviously, Templars are around till the Crusades. Mm-hmm. But, but there's, there, even at that point, you're still not. You're like, oh, okay, I kind of see where the Assassins Order comes from. And like this one's like, no, okay, here is the. They're called the Hidden Ones, right? And they're they learn lessons, you know, like, well, we have to stay hidden, otherwise we, they find out and they butcher whole villages. Like, it's like learning lessons of, like, how the Creed is made and how the Assassin's Creed Order does their business. And, like, the, and the Templars, obviously not the Templars yet, but there's more hints to the fact that the Order is still around. And so it's cool because it leaves off for even more content, mm-hmm. but it puts a little more stamp on Origins. It's, there's a much more of, like, the feeling of, like, oh, okay, this is clearly where it started. So the, they have the a one bureau guy says, and everything. We feel like a bunch of assassins who are living by like a a creed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Wait that a minute. One? Well, the, that's actually at the very end of the game. Oh at the very God. end of the game, he's like, you know, we all of our experiences have taught us things, and you know, we need to live by this and live by this. But there's a, one more big lesson they learn, and, and throughout the story of this one, with a little twist or whatever. But you actually have a bureau, mm-hmm. and you have the symbol now. The symbol is a thing. And you get a really cool new outfit and all that stuff. That's cool. It's it's just you get more gear and it's just a whole other part of the open world to run around. And there's a decent story and it, and it continues on the main quest. Everything yeah. that I kind of want from a first DLC right. was only ten bucks. Nice. So I really liked it. It's probably like ten hours of content. Cool. Or ish. Yeah. There's probably more to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Than have that. Um, and the only other thing I've been playing, which I just played for the first time today, because it was on sale on Steam. Oh no. Is uh, do? Stellaris. Oh, okay. okay. I never played it, but it's, I know all about it. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, you enjoying it? Yeah. Well, like, it's civilization in space, basically, mm-hmm. is, yeah. is how it... So it's, it looks... It's super overwhelming. That, that's, start. that's why I look at it, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it, it's horrible. And even today, I was at lunch, and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch some videos, get used to it. And the videos did not help. I was like, they're, even their beginners or videos are above my head. Oh, no. So I started it, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't have bought this. The tutorial is amazing because the tutorial is not, it doesn't start its own little new game and go here, click on this. Yeah. Um, it just, it just has you start a game and then it t- shows you things in a manner that uh, it's working for me. Um, and it's designed really well. So it's not that it's not complex. There's buttons all over the place, but it's very quickly. Everything is very cyclic. This feeds, this feeds, this feeds, this feeds, this feeds, this. And you just, you're suddenly seeing, I played for like 70 minutes. <laughs> and by the end of it, I feel way, way, way better after that. Like, first nice. 20 minutes or whatever. It's Very really nice. well designed in that loop where I can just kind of... Everything... I can, I'm can. i seeing stuff happen immediately. And you can pause the progress at any second. So if you're overwhelmed, with like, I've got seven things going on. You just pause it. And you can go to each one. Nice. I liked it a lot. Cool. I was a, I was a big fan of it. Nice. 
Excellent. Okay. Awesome, man. So far. How about you, man? Um, yeah, uh, actually a lot more stuff than usual. Really? <laughs> I'd be happy to hear about. Yay! Um, with exception, I, I have still been playing the usual. Um, PUBG, of course. Always playing Fortnite, which Ryan, I know yes. you're a fan of as well. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, I get a lot of other games on PC just because PC gaming. Yeah. Oh, four dollars? Sure, why not? What's going on? Is there there's a sale going on? There's a, a lunar new year sale. Always a sale going on. Which, man. That's why I can't do it. Which, <laughs> to my chagrin, I purchased Dead by Daylight for twenty dollars. Um great no awesome game. Yeah. Like a week ago. The day before the Lunar New Year sale. Oh began. no! And now it's eight dollars, oh. and uh, I was pretty upset about it. And I had played too much to be able to return it. Uh, if you pass two hours, two hours, you can't. And I was like, oh. and it was like three hours. I had oh, and I was oh, like, no. oh come on! If I had tried, they probably would have. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I don't know. They would have known what I was doing, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. Either way, um, yeah. So I've been playing that. Uh, I've been streaming that a lot. Uh, Dead by Daylight. I played it with Kevin. There's a mode where you can both, where you are both survivors. Um, mm. And you just have to, you know, figure it out, try to survive the killer. We haven't found a way to where one of us can be the killer and the other one can be a survivor, because you have to make a custom game, and we oh, don't okay. have three, oh. four other people to fill up the game. Um, and for like cheating reasons and stuff, it's it's hard when you're streaming. Um, yeah, I've been playing that. We've been playing. Uh, picked up Terraria. Yeah, Terraria. Yeah, yeah. Terraria. Terraria. I, I call it Terraria. Terraria. I've heard it pronounced Terraria. I hear a lot of ter terrarium, uh, terrian, terry. So, so what is that? Um, it's like two D Minecraft mixed with like oh, okay, Castle Metroidvania. Yeah, a little more yeah. action. Oh. And That's and never been and... totally my thing, but I love this game. Yeah, yeah. I, I lost a lot of hours to it years ago. A lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. It, it'll take you. We talk about it a lot. I'm always, at least recently, like in the last year or two, I'm picking up games I should have played years ago, mm -hmm. um, with the exception of PUBG and Fortnite, basically. But I, I don't, I can't even think of the newest game I played. Maybe a little bit of Assassin's Creed. Horizon. I mean, that came out in February of last year. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Only a year That's old. true. Yeah, <laughs> um, I played more Subnautica. I'm about ten hours oh, in. Excellent. If you ever played Subnautica, I really want to get that. It's game. fantastic. It's horrifying. It's everything my nightmares are made of. <laughs> Seriously, the ocean is god god awful. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun. It's like Minecraft in my nightmares. I love Minecraft. I hate the ocean. Something about it. I don't know. It's a blast. It's um, a hate love relationship because you're like so fascinated by yeah. things down there. Oh man, are there <laughs> things down there? Yeah. Um, more often than not. I have to pause the game and, like, you wipe the old hands on the, you know, wipe them off, you're sweating. So, I, so that happens to me a lot. Um, what else, man? We play more Rust. A lot okay. of, like, weird, obscure, no, I, like, I'm doing the same cheap thing. PC I, games know, I've been playing. We were talking about last week how this is the first time, and you're actually in the op sort of the opposite situation of ours, where, like, I don't Not by choice, so. feel <laughs> cleave to a, to a single game, or mm -hmm. and I don't feel like... Because I do just reviews on my own time. Right, you know? right, right. Like, uh, which is a, a state of mind that I enjoy. I like playing a game going, okay, I'm going to do a video review on this. Right. But now I'm just so freelance. Yeah. I'll play Warhammer 2 for 30 minutes. I'll play Stellaris for 30 minutes. Yeah. I'll play Dishonored 2, which I'm going through finally. Excellent. Um, just like, I, I'm not, I'm just kind of ADD and I'm sort of enjoying it. Dishonored 2. <laughs> which Dishonored is 2 also rare on sale. for me. For like ten dollars, oh, it's and I really thought about picking it. Fantastic so yeah. far, hmm. really good. Yeah, yeah, I would highly recommend that. But you play and you beat the first one. First yeah, one, yeah, I loved right. it. I loved it. I had no reason not to play the second one. I just did. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm not even like busy like you. Like I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I got a review. No, I don't. I just, I just didn't do it. I'm a, Bayonetta came out on the Switch today, and that, oh, like that was yes. the, that's, that's the main reason I've been able to actually play Monster Hunter for so long. Um, and I say for. Three weeks, four weeks, whatever it's been at this point. It feels long. Um, four no, hours. Nothing else has come out right recently. Exactly. Which is I've, this is for the first time in a long time I've had the time, and I I happened to be, the last game I played happened to be a game that got its hooks in me deep. Yeah. And I have the time to just stick with it, and, and I, I play a little Fortnite here and there, yeah, you know, yeah, throw yeah, it down. Yeah. But I haven't. Uh, I, I like I still haven't played uh, Near Automata. And that's sitting on the shelf. Mm, and I still play Neo. That's my big back. That's sitting on the shelf. Uh, Resident Evil Seven is still sitting on the shelf. Oh, that's such a good game. And I want to play it so badly in VR. But I, I guess it's just a. I have a. I don't know. I I, I get caught up. Just in a this, minute, you're afraid. Yeah, part part. Of <laughs> it, like, it, it is the kind of game I played. Uh, yeah. It, well, the coolest experience with that was the first time I played it was with the VR helmet. And then the second time I played it was at home playing the demo without a VR. I helmet. hear it's good without it too. Well, what's weird though is I felt I'm like 
I've been in this house though. Yeah. I feel like because I had played it in VR first. Yeah. And when you play it on the, t- I'm like, it's so weird because it feels like you're playing a video game of a place where you were really murdered once. <laughs> <earlier>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know this house, but it feels so different. But yeah, honestly, I still think that um, from those two experiences, and of course. In the VR, I was also in a giant auditorium with thousands of people, so that kind of takes some oh, of the beer out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, removes some of but, it. I yeah. can't imagine playing it at home with the lights off. Was well, the lights like, are off is way more scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll play. And so, but it's just sitting there waiting on me. But um, I, I was like, my plan was to play, do my couple of reviews and then move on to the backlog. And Monster Hunter happened to be the last thing yeah. I played, and it was Uh-oh. like, no, no time mm-hmm. for your backlog. But nope, yeah, yeah, yeah the backlog is the backlog is. I, I don't even know what a backlog is anymore. Because right. it's not just that there's so many, but a lot of the games that I like to play are kind of eternally available. Right. And, and never, they're not like a story thing. It's like beginning, middle, end. You know, I play Elder Scrolls Online. It's an MMO. Play it whenever the hell you whatever, want to. You're literally never you going yeah, to yeah. finish <laughs> yeah. ESO ever. Or Total War Warhammer, a strategy yeah. game. You could continue playing that forever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Then I have Neo. Like, well, if I get Neo or any of these other games, like, when am I? When am I gonna play? I, I find <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to get better about it because it's a weird kind of FOMO where you're playing a game and you're enjoying it, but in the back of your mind, especially if like like with Monster Hunter, I'm like, I could have played two other ten hour games yeah. after I had gotten a good twenty hours into this and could have been fine or whatever. Yeah. I could have played another two games already. Yeah. And so you're sitting there and you're enjoying yourself, but you're thinking, I could also be enjoying something else. Yes. But it's like, why not just... Nah, you'll get what is that? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, I, don't know. Well, I don't know why you're that missing feels that way. out. It's just... Uh, I'm that way with shows, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? I, I'm, I'm watching something that I'm enjoying, but I'm thinking, I could be watching an episode of this yeah. other thing. I'm trying to get better about that, but something won't won't quite let go of it. <laughs> but uh, I've kind of been trying to... Um, Especially with games where we play together, so yeah. you know our little group. I'm I'm getting more involved on my PC, which I haven't before. Mm-hmm. Um, you can tell how happy he is about it. Multiplayer? Stuff. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm totally. I actually, I really am because we. I like being able to play because everyone left console in my kind of my my in your friend group, group pretty right. much. I mean, everyone was on Xbox for a while. It's pretty quiet on there. Yeah. Everyone has PCs now. How'd you describe oh. it? A barren wasteland? I think last time we talked about it. Yeah, there's like no one on there at all. Um, but I've I I like. I like kind of, I don't know, exploring PC more. Like it's not that I never wanted to. It's just that I'm I'm kind of identifying what I want to play on. It's which just thing. new. It's, I was gonna say, it's for me, new to you. it's not yeah. new for me. Oh, I mean, okay. I've had it since 2014. Mind, but you never gamed really. Like, I that bought, much. I I spent fourteen hundred dollars on a PC to play Total War. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and well. I'm just that's it. That's well, why I have a yeah, PC. Yeah, totally. But for me the thing is that it's brand new. I've never Yeah, that's played a whole PC new thing ever. I'm still uncomfortable with a mouse and keyboard. Like it's still weird to sure. me, but it, I like that it's new. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, every console is different, but they all feel technically the same. Yeah. You know, you're holding a controller, you have a thing, you go through blah blah blah. So this is new to me and I like it. I like the the personality that you can put into your own PC, you know what I mean? Like, whereas if you buy an Xbox One, it's an Xbox One. Yep. Your friend has an Xbox One, it's the same Xbox One. Like, mm-hmm. well, my PC does this thing. <laughs> and it can change colors, and my mouse does this cool breathing thing now with colors, and I'm like, just stupid stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how much money can I spend? No, <laughs> yeah. it, it, you're right. I like... I like Steam. I like having a hub where I'm seeing my friends doing things. Doing stuff, yeah. So like, that's why I like Xbox for so long. Yeah. I think Xbox Live is like, the best service of all the different It's like having two roommates who aren't really there. Yeah, sort of, you can yeah. walk away yeah. from. There's just... There's, it's, <laughs> yeah, we've been there. <laughs> been there. <laughs> there's just a weird thing. I don't I don't know what, what you might label it in a psychology terms, but just sort of... like this, Whatever the social media thing is, the feedback of like... Oh, like there's all my friends, and like I've got my achievements and my last played, and I can see their last played, and I can look at my profile and their profile. I don't know. Yeah, there's sort of that. I think part of it is it, it back in the day, back in the day. Um, <laughs> in day. Back in my day, Grand <laughs> Tappy Winslet, go. everyone gather around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, gaming used to be a very singular experience, mm-hmm. and even if you wanted to play with friends, they'd have to come over. You have right. to go to their place. Now, when I like beat it, when I boot up the PS4, I see I've got you know. 38 people online. Yeah. Even if I don't look at my friends list, in my mind I'm like, you know. I'm, there's 38 other people that I know who are playing games right now and we're all playing games yeah. together. Even if it's single player. Yeah. Yeah. And we could, if we want to, jump in party chat and talk to each other and stuff. Yeah. But even if I'm playing my game, I know that there's other... It, it gives us a community. little sense of community. Yeah, That's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a, a really good way to put it. And that's kind of what's going on in PC now. Yeah. Everyone's on there. Yeah. It's been fun. I, playing PUBG, I... 
I haven't played in a while. I'd like to. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah just try Fortnite. It's fine. They're both <laughs> fantastic. I have nothing don't against. Don't pick a team. I have nothing against PUBG. <laughs> I, I just, I just I, the thing for don't me. Don't play it on Xbox. It's uh, just because. Well, yeah, yeah. Don't play. It on yeah, Xbox. definitely don't play it on Xbox. Um, the like PUBG. I just suck at those games. <laughs> really <laughs> bad. At, it's just especially it's on just PC. One of those things, man. Fortnite. I'm terrible at Fortnite. I, oh, I, on PS4, I'm really good. We're, on PC, I'm absolute garbage. Uh, okay. Because you have people who can build a castle. On, in under oh, five I've, wa- seconds, I've watched some videos insane. that make me angry because yeah, I'm like, how crazy. do you even do that? Are you, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you got to show them that. Are you one. familiar with the streamer Ninja? Uh, yes. He's yeah, basically the Fortnite guy. Yeah. He's it, the shroud <laughs> to PUBG of Fortnite. He creates so paths wherever he, he uh, materials. And there's yeah. a new one I have to show you. Oh. I showed Ian last week. He, he trapped somebody in a homemade microwave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> he built it, and he built it just so in funny. a way in which they didn't have any idea what was happening. And then he built, like, modification holes where only he could edit, but they couldn't do anything about it, and placed, like, some kind of radiator heat trap on top, and then locked that guy in and literally microwaved him. And it was incredible. All right. Um, there's a new one where he creates, like, a death maze. I was going to say, I've seen the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Where he makes... Uh, he, he, he makes... Because if you're not paying attention, especially if you're not, you know, uh, if you're pretty new to the game... Some of the structures, if it's built correctly, it looks like you know just a little shack that's yeah, in the world. Yeah. So if they build it, they put a window there, they put a couple of you doors door, on, yeah. build a roof, yeah. and everything, and then they drop like a nice little little purple item in there. It looks like. Uh, it's the worst. But what's great is the first person who goes in and gets killed by the trap, all their stuff drops. So that just makes that honeypot look even sweeter yeah, yeah. than the next person. Oh my and eventually God. it's just a, a mountain. And you would think sooner you or later someone, wonder. someone would You're go, like, wait a minute. There's like 100 <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of loot for one some, porta potty. I'm going to start <laughs> shooting bushes because someone is definitely <laughs> hiding in one bushes. of them. Which is a legit concern with the yeah, new bush bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, my favorite, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm in a, uh, and it was, I was in the top three, and I've got my eyes on one of the guys. I know somewhere in the map is the, the third guy. Yeah. I don't know where they are. I finally kill the the second guy. So I'm like, somewhere on this map is the other guy. I'm gonna go hide in this bush and wait on him. Oh, so I, I watched this. Down. Yeah, I posted. I, I was this. so angry. It's so goofy. He was in the bush. He was the bush. He, he was the bush. Oh, but that bush God. had been there for it. Like you don't see it in the video I posted. The video is only like three minutes. The bush had been there for a very long like time. Like he got it early on and, and just it, was like the, the map happened game. to be well, getting closer game. and closer. I actually wrote him and said, look. That was fantastic. I'm not <laughs> kidding. I thought it was great. He said he it was actually his girlfriend who was playing. She had gotten scared, hid in the bush costume, and been sitting there for like 15 minutes. This, and when I came crawling over, she pulled the trigger. I was done. That might have been me. <laughs> um, so this ha- we've talked about this before. When I was really big, like around last time we had you on, I was crazy into Fortnite on PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, I played it all the time. I'm north of like 130 hours on PS4, I think. Um, so what we my girlfriend wanted to play it because she's like, What's this thing you're paying way more attention to than me? Like, I need to be involved. And so she would play it, but she didn't want to engage anybody because she has zero experience in, in right, combat and right. video games. Um, so she would just jump out of the battle bus immediately and fly as far in any direction as she could where nobody was there and just loot for 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And she would stay within the white, kind of on the outer rim, and make it to the top five without running into anybody and then just throw me the controller <laughs> and we'd win the game. We won three games in a row. Excellent. It's insane. Yeah. See, so I've only ever really won fun. one. I've been very, very close. Yes. Yeah. Enough times to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's, that's kind of what people makes are, you keep coming back. Right? Because so you're like, like I can like, do it. Like, and and time. people are so good now, though. And, and Fortnite's funny because um, in PUBG, the blue zone will only get so small, and then it stops. Mm. Fortnite will get down to the size of a dime. Yeah. It'll, it'll, and so you get into a situation where there will be four people. One guy on the on ground level, another guy made a three story shack, another guy made a six story shack, and you're all in the white. Like we gotta figure this out. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, gotta give. Gonna, so guys will be shooting directly <laughs> up and directly down. It's, it's just goofy. It's just a goofy. Yeah, movie. it's a completely different take on the yeah. same. Oh yeah, it's so yeah. and it's, it's, it's more. It's tongue in cheek. It's got more humor. I, it's getting. Uh, my my fear is like with the they had like a uh, Valentine. I think it was like a bear. Or a oh, bunny I saw. It's yeah. getting a little too goofy. Yeah, I like the fun, the costumes and stuff, but it's getting a little too. And I, re- I actually read your piece on them um, cycling the weapons out because I right, wondered right, right. kind of what was going on there, um, and it was really good. And uh, but to your point on the costumes, so like if you compare it to PUBG, not to necessarily compare them, but you have guys who are at like a particular skill level, like your ninjas and your shrouds. Mm-hmm. Like shroud, when he plays PUBG, he wears a bright purple suit to handicap himself. 
Oh, so okay. you know what I mean? So, he, nice. so he stands out. I don't think that's the purpose of the bunny costume, but right. it does do somebody. Yeah, if you're gonna wear a bunny you know, costume, so I'm gonna spot you. You're from standing a mile exactly, away. <laughs> and then that, that puts you in a position where you have to practice yeah. your building, and you're kind of out in the open. So. What was the update that you were dissing? What happened in that? For what? Fortnite. Fortnite. I have no idea what happened. I know what they were talking about, but people were freaking out about it online. Um, I didn't look into it. I didn't see the patch notes. Ryan, you probably know more about it than I do. Which one? They had talked about making. Oh, this. Um, yes. I remember like this. skill-based matchmaking. I don't know what you call it. You probably know better than I do. Where it's going to pair you with people of your more skill, skill level. level. Yeah, and people were not happy about yeah, it. Yeah, that's not a good idea. No. That seems like extra work on their part. Way extra even, work. It also seems kind of counter to the yeah. whole I mean, point of The fact that I've won design. a game shows that, I mean, <laughs> and I, this was early on. Yeah. It, like, you can be bad at the game still and still win. Yeah, that's Because not... the best player in the game maybe had a really bad firefight and has very little health left and you just happen to have a shotgun. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and it just yeah. pulled the trigger first. Like, I like that about it. I like the fact that, like, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was the update or what, but I people were not happy. Yeah, right. yeah, I would yeah, imagine, cool, though, right. since it's epic and they're being <clears throat> really reactive uh, as far as these updates go, I would imagine it would be something they try, and once they get the feedback, if, if yeah. people don't like yeah, it, they'll yeah. throw it away. Yeah, totally. Like, and so that's good, at least. Epic's I was getting, been really good about that. With the weapons, time. I was getting a little worried about rotating a weapon out yeah. because I'm like, oh, what? But I'm like... It, it, unlike sense. in PUBG, where you you know you can you craft your own weapons to a degree, basically, yeah. you don't have that in Fortnite. Mm -hmm. So there's a limited number of things you could even want to be able to pick up or put on the map or yeah. learn. So the idea of like we're going to introduce a, you know a, a new thing, but it's going to kind of off balance this other thing. So we're going to take that other thing out. What for was a it? They while. added well, they added the crossbow for the Valentine Day event right. or whatever, and, and then, then they the, the minigun, the minigun, yeah. yeah. But they, oh my then they god, get, which is insane. <laughs> like, <right? laughs> It's basically there to tear apart people's structures, or, which is insane. And make yourself into a giant... Like, if you... You need to be sure there's no one with you anywhere near their sights if you're yeah. going to use it, too, because you move slowly. Yeah. It's like there's no <laughs> mistaking who has the minigun. But they, they took away the SMG, right? Right. Okay. They got rid of the uh, the, the standard SMG, but they kept the, the, silence the, the silence one and the tactical and the... Silence. I think there's okay. yeah. So there's two. There's like three versions of the SMG. So they just got rid of the vanilla version. Yeah. Okay. And some people are upset because like suddenly they're SMG purists and they love that I gun. Oh yeah. yeah. People just want to change. Like, yeah. God, I love the SMG. I loved it. I haven't used it in Shut six up. hours. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's just it got to a point though. I was like, how many more guns can they introduce? And I'm like, I kind of like the idea that maybe a gun I like will get rotated out, yeah. but then they'll bring in some gun that I've never thought about and. Yeah. And they're just going to mess and screw with it until they find... I'm, I'm Either they're going to keep doing that, or they're going to find the right mix of... Because, like, the disco ball that makes everyone dance. The boogie bomb. Yeah, the yeah, boogie yeah. bomb. That's fun. Um, so funny. But, like, if they introduce another kind of goofy grenade, they'd probably want to rotate out that out, because how many goofy grenades do you want? <laughs> Before you get it? over the top. Yeah. Bit. yeah. So, yeah. Like a Halo one. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the, the, the grunt bomb. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, um, you want to dive yeah, in? Yeah, you, you beat me to it. That's right where I was going to go. <laughs> so um, the the second section of our podcast today, uh, we wrote down five games in order, right? Five yeah, to yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, well, I, our, wrote, I didn't write the order, but I'll pick it as we go. Okay, <laughs> that <right>. works. <laughs> our most anticipated games of the year. I still felt like it was early enough in the year mm -hmm. to because it's been kind of a slow core Q1. I was like, well, we could still get away with this. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, there yeah, hasn't right, been absolutely. any games for me. I think the Monster Hunter was... That was Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball Fighters uh, <laughs> would have been on my list, but now I'm like, I, 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 it was no problem coming up. And we haven't seen each other's lists. We have not. Correct. I think we, we've had a few things where like, we know you may have seen mine. Um, so, But the one, the, the rule that I put on you guys and on myself, mm -hmm. was we couldn't include Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. Which I'm surprised that you wouldn't even have it on your list. Yeah, it is weird. I know. I did know. you like the first one? I loved it. You did. I loved it. I just love all these games a lot. You know, the second one's gonna I'm get just... probably tens from like every. Well, yeah. Of it. It already <laughs> I'm giving, I'm giving it ten already. Yeah. <laughs> like, sorry, yeah. People are already done with their reviews. They haven't even played the game, Brian. Uh. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I feel confident in saying that without you know, oh, you're gonna you're gonna jinx it because. They've delayed it so many times. Yeah, they, they have such a track record. My my one concern is, and it's not a concern actually, if this is the case, uh, some games that are getting delayed right now. I have and Anthem being one of them. I have a sneaking suspicion that they were being developed with loot boxes in mind. <laughs> oh, and absolutely. maybe they were like, and they you know up. what? Wait we need to figure out a different way to incorporate this. Yeah, and think? now we got you know legislation it's going on, which you can have a whole Anthem. Other. That's a really yeah. good point. Yeah. Yeah. Anthem was guaranteed going to have oh, some sort of loot boxes. The, the thing about Anthem with me is that it's like the two crossroads of very emotional things, which is the way I feel about EA recently, and what has been happening with Bioware in the mm -hmm. last couple of years, and those two coming together... 
But Casey Hudson's back. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel a little better. And then they delayed it. It's like, all right, cool. And as I've said a million times, uh, anyone who reads my stuff is probably tired of it. (laughs) I prefer right over right now. Absolutely. Any day. Any day. Absolutely. So take their time. Make it. Get rid of those loot boxes. (laughs) Or at least make them not gross. I, I'm I'm okay with. Let's not get into loot boxes again. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah we, won't, we won't get into them. Maybe we'll run into them. But say, briefly, before we jump into the list, what are so like like what's one of your most anticipated things of Red Dead Redemption? Like the like what can't you That's just hard, wait man. to do? It, everything, everything I everything? did in the first one. <laughs> yeah, it's not, I don't yeah. even want new stuff. I want the same stuff more, again. More the same of that, yeah, I, I want to tie people up and put them on train tracks, man. <laughs> yeah. Slow, slowly ride through a snow-covered like uh, yes. forest. Yeah, dude. Uh, and just listen like, to the music. Just environmental yeah. stuff. Just, just. That was way better than my answer, but way to make me seem like. <laughs> uh, my next one. Bro, was, I'm looking to murder for my next. <laughs> one, my next one was drag people behind me on a horse. Like, <laughs> no, okay, I'll give you this. That last second shoot, like if you're running, oh. riding past someone, yeah. and you push the button yeah. just right. <laughs> Oh, so and they go flying so up. Good. Oh, so good! Just to come up with a different answer and something I just thought of. One of my favorite things about the first one, Horses. were <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say, but yeah, that too. Bar fights, bar fights. Are fun. I'm done. That was it. You mean, <laughs> nice. Uh, no, it was well, like you're good. You're good. The emergent moments that yeah. that like the I still remember walking into the first town. I don't. I think it was Dodd. I don't remember what it was called. The first town you walk into, and I walk up. And a prostitute comes running out, and this guy is right behind her. Yeah. And the first time I played, I didn't know what to do. And he grabs her, and he fucking stabs her to death. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 17, he's like, duh, 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 duh. he's like, <laughs> really brutal. And I'm like, oh no! And then I killed him. And then the second time I played the game, I knew, I was like, is that going to happen again? It didn't happen. So you're looking for oh, wow. a prostitute murder? Yeah. That's I'm looking like for a me. situation um, in a game that comes out of nowhere, yeah. that the AI, that isn't 100% scripted, mm-hmm. that makes me freeze as if I, I oh, whoa! I yeah. didn't know what was happening. I couldn't believe that the game was just doing this. You would be going down a trail and there'd be like a broken down carriage and you'd be, oh, I can help this yes. guy. Yes. Meanwhile, it's four and it's bandits. bandidos yeah. that were like, gonna, yeah. Just it's those so kind of things, like, you know, a lot of games do them, Elder Scrolls do them pretty well, but ne- that Red Dead Redemption had the best, some of the and best I'll moments like 10 yeah. years later. Right. Has it been 10 years? It's been like... Yeah, two, 2010. Yeah. 2010. Okay. It's been Almost. 8 years. So, all that that they've learned from now yeah. on yeah. modern hardware, yeah, I'm just, I, my yeah. body is ready. I need, an X- <laughs> my I, need to, ready. I need to get an Xbox One X before it comes out so I can play it on my 4K TV. Oh. All right, let's do this list. Let's go. Ryan, you're the guest of honor, so how about you start with your number five game? Okay. Um, five. Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah. Red Dead Ryan? We're done! We're done! I just shredded my list. <laughs> did I do that wrong? Actually, this is probably the most obscure on the list. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to pronounce it uh, Vampire. Vampire. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh, I wrote because uh, I knew I'd forget it. Uh, Dot Nod, the guys who did, or the guys who go, the the team who did uh, Life is Strange. Nineteen is it eighteen? Nineteen eighteen. London. You're a doctor who becomes a vampire, and it's a lot of conversations, making choices. You can apparently get through the entire game without ever drinking the blood of an innocent. But I'm assuming that's going to be rough. Oh, it's yeah. going to be an option. <laughs> and it, look, it looks gorgeous too. So I'm like, uh, I like the idea of these kind of uh, choose your own adventure games that yeah. we've seen so much of in a completely unexpected setting. Like, which is what was so great about Life is Strange. It took what um, had been done with all the uh, uh, Telltale games and plugged it into what if Telltale, but with angsty teens and some interesting abilities. And like, it's not Walking Dead. It's not right. uh, Fables. It's not uh, or uh, Wolf Among Us. Is there? Um, it's not. It's something unique. So they're taking that exact same formula, but now it's. You know, 1900s, early 1900s. And so it's kind of involved, vampire. like, story-wise, the vampires are coming out of the fact that like, the Spanish flu, right? Right, 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 yeah. It's destroying the world at that, that time. Yeah, so I'm like, it looks unique. It looks like it'll be a nice just change of pace from yeah. other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's my number five for the year. Cool. Nice. Heck yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Mason. Uh, my number five. five is Spider-Man. Oh, really? Uh, that? Yeah. I, thought, I was mm-hmm. thinking I was going to um, be higher on uh, that. Yeah, me too, at first, and I, I did a little, little, little bit a little 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 searching. deeper dive and a little self-searching. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm trying to stay optimistic that this will come out this year. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit, a little teeny piece of me doesn't think it will, but I'm trying to stay optimistic. I, I've been excited it about it to. since they... Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've thought that before. You know Sony I mean? needs... It's going to be one Sony of the... Tra- to like, it's going to be one of the bullet points. Uh, actually, it, might, it probably won't close E3, but it'll be... Maybe they'll open E3 with Spider-Man coming November 16th or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I I, so. I, I, I think they're 
pretty yeah, far along with I mean, that and, and just since they announced it, Spider-Man's always been my thing, even since, since I was just a little kid. And, um, I've always loved the games. I've always loved the movies. R.I.P. Tobey Maguire. Um, <laughs> you pour one out, except for the third one. We don't talk about it. Yeah, that um, didn't exist. Third you, one. you didn't like the. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I've just I've been really excited for this game. Uh, the little bit of gameplay we got to watch kind of took me back to Spider-Man Two on the GameCube a little bit, and just excited. Yeah, yeah. Sonic yeah. is like destined to make a Spider-Man game. Yeah, it's the kind of game that you're going to spend just as much time swinging and running and then just doing that. Like that was all I right. did. I, yeah. I'm just going to spend a lot of time doing that. Hopefully that there aren't t- like too many penalties for ignoring when people are getting their cards. Hey, everyone's <laughs> dying, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, but I'm running on the side of a building, so I just, I'm. I good. can do backflips now. Yeah. Like I hope you can do uh, in the in the first reveal trailer when he swings down and he goes through the restaurant, yeah. and he jumps yeah. on the table and out the window. I hope that's kind of like a, a gameplay. Some little mechanic. secret areas, maybe that you can do some like more cinematic, like yeah. little stunts. Yeah. yeah, I just hope it's done right. Remember Assassin's Creed Three, or is it Three? What about Three? Um, where where they were like the cool thing was you could run through buildings, but you weren't really in a building. It was just like a cinematic where you ran through a building. Yeah, and you like flip a table over mm-hmm. and dive out sideways and stuff. Yeah, but it kind of got old after the third. Yeah, because it was the same thing. Over yeah, over that's, I'm kind of hoping they make it a little more dynamic. That whole that. game was like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. That's another thing. It was, that was, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. It was cool. Yeah, I hope that... Co- they better get that out this they year. They will, yeah. They better get that this year. Hopefully. Uh, my number five is <laughs> uh, Total War, the uh, Thrones of Britannia. You're yeah. a fan of Total War? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. It's Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, okay. really? Cool. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Elder Scrolls? Oh, oh. I like. What's that? I've never, never heard of it. <laughs> um, so, and I've tried to like... Because I understand it in my head. And then when I try to explain it, it just sounds like rambling nonsense. But the way that there that Sega is is having Creative Assembly, the developer, do this, release these games, mm-hmm. is getting out of hang on a little bit. Yeah. Um, in the sense that they have their full releases, like Warhammer, Warhammer Two, Rome Two, like their numbered numerical big sixty dollar releases. Yeah. And then they're trying to come up, they're trying to please everyone, which is why this is happening. Because they have fantasy fans now, and they have history fans, and they're trying to please all these angry crowds that want more of both. So what they decided to do is create these $40 entries now that are slightly smaller in scale, more focused, Mm -hmm. um, but they're also not going to take five years to make because they're not starting over from scratch. They're basing it on assets they already have from previous titles. So this one is based on Attila, uh, as far as assets goes, but it's like specific to England in like the ninth century when half of it's owned by Vikings or you know, Danes and Alfred the Great and like Wessex and all that stuff. So it's I'm super pumped for it because I, I like the more focused thing. You know, it's not this massive thing where I, everything kind of feels the same because um, it's so big. So it's really focused, and they're gonna they're gonna have. They're going to incorporate some things they've learned from Warhammer, mm-hmm. like the, the generals and stuff have more mm-hmm. personality, and they have abilities, and they're more important, actually, on the battlefield. So it comes out in April. Um, cool. I, I, I'm not even, like, oh, head over heels excited for it, but, but it's the there. worst Total War game means I'll probably play it for 50 hours yeah. compared to yeah. 110. Right, right, right. right. So <laughs> for sure. I had to put a game that I know I'm going to put a minimum of 50 hours on on a list. <laughs> it's yeah. coming out this right. year. So uh, hopefully it's it's good. <laughs> Excellent. So we're on to number four. Number four for you, good sir. All right, this one is purely based on nostalgia, and 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 uh, since they just had a new trailer come out that said it's still coming out this year, <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts three. Oh, I, I adored yeah. Adored the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, it got ridiculous. I couldn't even. No one could tell you the story. I don't. No one working on that game could tell you the story. <laughs> we don't know. We got yeah. no idea. Um, it looks like they've got a lot. Like the newest trailer. Shows the like they they got all kinds of different little abilities you can trigger within the fights on top of just smacking things with a keyblade. <laughs> um, it looks like there's all kinds of little extra like uh, there's scenes where he's right they're they're in Monster Inc world and there's yeah. scenes where he's riding on the doors and you jump from like rail to rail. <laughs> looks like they're just gonna have some things outside of the just standard gameplay to kind of you know mix it cha- up, change up yeah change the pace and do that. Um, and uh, Square Enix and Disney, and uh, again, like I think they're saving a lot of best for last type stuff. We might see a Star Wars world. We might see a Marvel yeah. world. We, yeah. There's no, t- I mean, maybe not, but they've got a lot of properties. Would you want that as a fan of Kingdom Hearts? King- 
I would want maybe Star Wars. Oh gosh, I just uh, the uh, the anime or the the cartoon, um, the show that's going on right now, Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe that, that would, would fit in. That would fit in better Rebel. than regular Star Wars, right? Um, something like that would be cool. Uh, Marvel, maybe. I don't it, like. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Just yeah. throw it all together. It's, it all. Just, <laughs> it's just like Ready Player One. A lot of people are like. Yeah against it because it just feels like they're just taking a bunch of things that will like have that'll trigger like we'll be like oh there's halo oh there's overwatch and i'm like i don't care i want i'm fine yes, with that let's, let's, totally i'll fine. watch that i'll yeah. watch an hour and a half of who are we kidding two and a half hours <laughs> of, of uh, <laughs> movies can't be an hour and a half anymore. um except for the ritual yeah oh great uh, movie shout out to the ritual really, ritual everyone watch the yeah ritual. go watch the ritual netflix really good um so yeah king uh, kingdom hearts 3 i'm just looking forward to seeing what they do with it and do you think it's a little lower on your list just because you're skeptical of its release this year? Or? Um, yeah, part of it. Uh, it would have been, I like honestly, uh, it, I could have easily put it at number five even. Um, it, it, because of the fact, like, I've gone back and tried to play the older ones, and I'm like, this isn't maybe as good as I remembered it. Right. And again, because I'm going to need someone to make a one hour recap video for me to remember anything that's going on. <laughs> so it's purely on just love of Disney, Square Enix, and all these other things being thrown together, and that just looks like a lot of just fun. Um, so, but again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure it'll be out this year. <laughs> so we'll see. Cool, man. Uh, my number four is A Way Out. Oh, um, yeah. That was almost on my list. If you remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you remember, um, it's kind of like that uh, multiplayer, basically two player, like weird prison break payday type mm -hmm. GTA ish yep. kind of game. Um, it always stood out to me. It seems very unique because it kind of brings back the weird, strange, mythical, taboo beast that is split screen uh -huh. that we don't see anymore. Um, but it's like intentionally split screen. So even if you're online, the game is split screen. Just the way it works, and you always want to know what your partner is doing, and you have to work together. I always thought it looked really cool. I always talk about games that can kind of take me back to days of just playing games on the couch with my brother. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they always give you kind of that nostalgia feel, and I'm just excited for it. It looked really cool. And it's coming from the guy who made the game Brothers. <laughs> there <laughs> so, you go. There you go. One of the few games that have just made me cry. Oh, well, have you guys played Brothers? No. No. Uh, I have it on Steam, but I haven't played it yet. Play it. Like it's only I think like three hours, maybe it's oh, okay. four hours. It's one. It's a real short real game. Short game. Yeah. You can play it in just a couple of sittings, and by the end of it, if you aren't punched in the feels, you're a broken person. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it, it does some stuff where you're just like, God, how did they do that to me? So and with uh, a way out, did you know that like, if you buy a copy of it, you can give a digital copy of it to a friend for free? No. I, I had no idea. Was that a hint? <laughs> Wait a no, not at all. You can buy it. Is, uh, <laughs> that's not what I meant. I, just, I feel like that's one of the most like, pretty significant no things yeah, about it because really the game no is not playable with, a with one person, person yeah. um, and he didn't expect everyone to buy a copy each, so the, it comes with a thing, and you give the code to that's the really person cool. you're planning on playing with. That is really cool. That's I had no idea. idea. Yeah, it's wow. pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my number four, and like this could have been higher, but I this is one of the ones where I wasn't sure if it's coming out this year, mm -hmm. so I put it, I put it down a little bit. Anthem, GTFO. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh, oh my that. god! Yeah, Worst yeah. name looks rad. <laughs> I actually don't mind the name. I'm, I'm okay it's with it too. Yeah, I'm fine with cheese. Yeah. yeah, like I, yeah, exactly. I, I <laughs> like that it's sort of self-referential, and, and yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's it's fine, and I. I'm not the biggest multiplayer guy, but most of the time, because that's not, it's because I'm not very good at games. I just yeah. get my ass kicked. Mm -hmm. So I'm a huge fan of like cooperative PVE. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't have to, you know. And then the idea of combining horror, science fiction, horror, and co-op multiplayer—it's like goofy left. It's dead. a streamer's dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone's scared mm -hmm. right. on top of having a cooperative thing where you're bantying back and forth yeah. and all that. You're frightened. Everything about that game, like I just, I, I'm that's a day one purchase for me. As long as everyone else is getting yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I forgot I all about cannot it. Cannot wait yeah. for it. Um, just like, just I can just hear Kevin right now, <laughs> just screaming his head off. <laughs> and like, anytime I'll just be daydreaming and think about GTFO like that, we're we're gonna have such good we time. Will. The highlights that you can put yeah. up on YouTube with That'd that shit, uh, it's gonna be s fun. so good. Excellent. I cannot wait. Uh, first repeat, uh, my number three, Spider-Man. I mean, oh, cool. yeah, it's it's nothing more needs to be said. It it, it looks solid. Uh, it looks like I mean, you took I guess more does need to be said. Um, 
You got like you know the the Arkham style combat that's you know, but it's got more stuff in the environment you can mess with. Yeah. But it also again just seems like like uh, like in Red Dead where I could see my like I'd not just see myself. I'd ride on the horse for an hour. Yeah. And yeah. Just make, because I can see myself if the if it feels as good as I think it's going to, I could see myself just swinging around the yeah. world. Me too. Just forever. Yeah. So yeah, it. it if they deliver, then it's going to be big. I think they will. Insomniac has yeah. taken. They, Sony does a great job with their yeah. stuff. They're like, just take your time. Sometimes a little too much. It's and like, they're telling their own story. There's yes, no, no it's origin. Not story. related. Yeah, it takes place. At, was he twenty three or something? He's prime Spider Man. He's been yeah. doing this for a while. He isn't learning yeah. about being awkward. Or, yeah, we don't you know, have to start the whole thing. Yeah. You have to fight in a wrestling cage. <laughs> yeah. no, I know that it's Marvel, but is this kind of the first? I feel I, I was thinking back when the Arkham trilogy was coming out. The first one hit big. Two was even better. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, three was good, mm-hmm. but they were all really good. And they were kind of like the first comic book based games in a long time that they were, were great. Good, yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, really good. And I thought that was just going to start an avalanche of well made games by renowned developers and there hasn't been anything that I can think of other than like uh, I'm not a big guy Capcom versus Marvel guy yeah, that doesn't count either yeah um, I mean like legit like, like this is our that, own yeah. story it's being developed by us this is Batman and this is didn't, a trilogy didn't Batman have a game it's kind of a darker like, you mean prior to the Rocksteady one prior to the Arkham games there was a game on GameCube I believe okay kind of a darker grittier version hmm. too not I, about. I don't I remember, remember what it's called. I, I'm pretty sure it was Batman. Because I remember I was really young and I could never make it out of the tutorial. But <laughs> in the tutorial, you're practicing like jumping off a cliff to like save someone who's falling. Okay. And you're like attached to like a bungee cord and you had to catch them. And that was all I could do. I couldn't even pass that part because I was so young at that point. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember. remember. No. I, d- I just know that like, there was just a big stigma. Kind of like movie based games. Yeah. Comic book based games were just crappy. And they just they were rushed and released and like, oh, they just stick Batman on the, on the front movie, and they'll buy it. Yeah. The Superman game for 64 was good. Garbage, <laughs> flying to the that's ring. The legendary one. Yeah, they, yeah everyone yeah, that's brings that one up. That's the first example. So I, I just thought there was going to be more, but if Superman nails it too, like, or uh, not Superman, Spider-Man nails it too, like... That'd be nice. Yeah. Th- then we've got two in a row, and they can just keep, hopefully keep working on them. That would be nice, yeah. <laughs> Little tangent, what is Rocksteady doing now? It's a good quiet. I haven't heard <laughs> shit Everything goes them. quiet, yeah. It's like... Uh, I they made know. they made Arkham Knight, and yeah, then... They're done with, they're done with Arkham. Like, I assume they have to Yeah, like, they're they, totally They want to do something new. I don't got to they just that. fell off the face of the planet. I'm sure they're working on. You know what? It's about by June again. E3, go yeah. back to that. We're gonna well, we're gonna hear something, and we're gonna come back to that because my number one is a similar like where did that developer go? And then E3, everyone went. Oh, that's what you're doing. So Excellent. Come back to that. Uh, who just went? Batman Begins. You did. You had Spider Man Begins. Again. Oh, so it was a oh, movie based. based. On the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, it was darker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heath yeah. yeah. Ledger was in it. Uh, yeah. in, uh, <laughs> next one. <laughs> So that was your number three, Spider Man. Yes, your number three. Oh, my turn. Yeah, your turn. Sorry, we kind of derailed, but that's no, fine. No, you're good. That's fine. Uh, my number three is Bio Mutant. Oh, um, cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't. I, I wish I had more to say about it. I don't know anything about it. I think that's why it stands out to me. It's kind of like the weird, obscure, forgotten Zelda I never got to play. Uh, no, it, it just looked really cool. Um, it looked like fun. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It's just so different. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so different. hard to find different. You know, Call of War time. Right. You know, it's yeah. like four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Team. Um, No, it just, it stood out. I don't know, the way it looked. uh, You know, it's not usually my thing, but it it just, it looked like it was. It's like a third-person action RPG, and it had, I don't know if you saw the gameplay, the E3 demo, in the beginning where you were making your character, and there was this deep-voiced British guy it's kind of quippy, narrating kind of, yeah. on your what you're doing with your animal it reminded me of the beginning of little big planet yeah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah you know Super so it kind of has like this cheeky sort of feel to it mm-hmm. but at the same time i don't know what the story is going to be about but I it don't looks know, really cool it's third person you can mm-hmm. make like a little panda with double double yeah, potatoes and a whole shotgun thing was, like, <laughs> the customization you could just make whatever you wanted yeah, it was, yeah it the like screens really for that game were just like yeah. i don't know who's making it nope, uh, no clue we'll have to look it up just out of <laughs> <No> curiosity <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm, that's a good choice because I, I actually looked at that and was like, thought about it, but yeah. I just didn't quite put it on there. But that was that was a close one for me. Um, my number three, we're going back to Total War because Creative Assembly and Sega are just like. Uh, but this one, I'm, I'm I'm more excited because the last one is like based on previous assets and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is this is now this is one of the sixty dollar like this is their next historical game and they're going in a direction that they've got not gotten anywhere close like almost all of the total war historical games have been based for the most part 
in European history. Mm-hmm. Rome, medieval empire, which is like the colonial, you know, 18th century, like ships and muskets. Uh, Napoleon, uh, even Attila, which is like the fall of Rome, and all of these are, and, and then you have Thrones of Britannia with Britain and, and Norway and all that. So this one is like that classic era that's, it's kind of hard for historians to blend, to find where history blends into myth at that point, but mm-hmm. that classic like era in China, the, the, the three, these, these three dynasties. Oh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Yep, the, yeah, three, yeah. Yep, the three kingdoms. So the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and, and they're, they're really buying into some of the fictional elements, the, the mythology of it, which is fun. But it's still rooted in the history as well. So it's like this nice combination. But I can't wait. It's going to be just a brand new, beautiful what art I style. Uh, three Kingdoms. Oh, it's Total, three total War. Okay. Yeah, Total War. Oh, I you knew that. No, no, three no, Kingdoms. Like, like, let him say it. Let him um, <laughs> and and like, I, I have been talking about them doing, and so is Kevin. Now, that's the one thing. If Kevin were here, him and I would want to talk about. Because he, him and I have been saying they could do China, but it's, it's nothing like they've done. Mm-hmm. There's always kind of an art style with you know the menus and just like the music and and the way the game just feels and looks to each one. Um, and I think they can really kind of take it up a little bit of a notch and and go f- kind of cross that line of of mythology a little bit because right. that's the romance of the three kingdoms. It's is, full. Of, I mean, they people believed that stuff too when it was happening. Like the people were legendary. And yeah. Like. You believe the, the, which is why the Dynasty Warriors. I mean, I, except for the most recent one. Um, I mean, but you got four major armies, and you've got a cast of characters yes. that a lot of people know a lot about uh, already. So yeah, I'm surprised. That, not to mention, I'm surprised they hadn't they hadn't done, done that it yet. Yeah, prior. I, I I don't know if I think they wanted to just cover because like European history is pretty much what you what all, we all right. know for the most part just through osmosis because it's so prevalent in our culture, um, and maybe they were worried that people wouldn't want to get into it. But I mean. What they're taking, I, I'm excited for the combination now of Warhammer because they because Warhammer has hero characters mm-hmm. that are on the battlefield and they're killing a bunch of guys. You know, they're they're exactly, ultra powerful yeah, units, yeah. so they can kind of buy into that feeling of it matters more to upgrade your generals than that than any of the other ones where your general can get killed with an arrow in the face instantly. Where's and the whole army's they running got a whole <laughs> platoon of people on it, his own. Exactly. Yeah. So it's going to be a cool melding of the two genres and the two fran- like the, the two kind of titles that they have mm-hmm. going. I'm, I can't wait. It's coming out in, I think it's, they said fall of 2018. So I don't know Excellent. when, but super pumped for that. Fantastic. Right. My number, number two, two man. is um, this is a series that uh, I mean, I know it did pretty well, but I adore, and I'm baffled that it isn't more popular, uh, Darksiders 3. I love Darksiders 1. I adore Darksiders 2. I was brokenhearted when Darksiders 2 was never... But, I mean, I, I actually didn't even realize that uh, Gunfire Games is, is who's making it. Um, a lot of the team from... Is it Vigil? Yeah, Vigil. Uh, a lot of the team from Vigil is Gunfire, so I was like, I like, I'm glad it's happening. Oh, okay, but so there, there are people so who are is, carrying, yeah, who are you it's know, important when that happened. Have. They're there, they're working on it. They had their last couple of games swiped out from under them while they're in the process of making it. So they made their own studio, Gunfire, um, and they said, "What do we want to work on?" And you know, that series had been saved by I didn't think I wrote down the publisher. Is that and, THQ Nordic? Yeah, THQ. Um, so it all everything aligned. Um, so you know. Again, I, the only footage I've seen seems really early on, but they still say it's coming out in 2018, so maybe they've just kept their heads down and haven't really released much. So it's, and I'm hoping we get our fourth one so we have all four horsemen of the. I just wanted to finish the story. They, but, they made, did they, did they uh, remaster the first yes, two for this the, is, these consoles? Gunfire is, the, that was kind of the other thing that makes play play those. They remade one and two, which is, again, kind of allowed the entire studio to refresh their memory of it to try their hand, you know, work yeah. with the new tools. So now they're ready to run into the third one, and hopefully, again, if it does well, the fourth one, so we get the full arc like yeah, we're supposed to. Yeah, all four horsemen. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a franchise I missed out on. Yeah, it's and really... I don't do know anyone. You, you like Zelda, Zelda, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. It, it's Zelda set in a comic book uh, fantasy world um, uh, with, with God of War-style combat. Okay. Yeah, it, like, it's... You open, a, you, you open a chest and you get a little tune that plays, uh, but the tune, this chest is full of souls instead of trinkets. <laughs> uh, things like that. I mean, it's 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 a little God of War. It's a little, uh, little Zelda. And I'm trying to remember the comic book artist who... Uh, did the artwork that you know for the series and everything, but 
it's angels and demons and the devil and all these characters from the Bible kind of jump in. That's but really like cool. these, these muscle bound like superhero. Yeah. Kind of, um, and awesome. I just loved them. I love both of the games. And uh, so now I'm happy three is happening. Like real happy. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. TH- THQ Nordic has kind of become like the land of misfit toys. And they just recently we'll grabbed that they, defunct game. They bought someone game? this week, didn't they? I'm trying uh, to remember. I don't know. They They're always, they've been doing all kinds of, they haven't released anything. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of up there, just just grabbing just folks just and grabbing. <laughs> Hopefully, this goes okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my number two is Jurassic World Evolution. I knew you were going to pick it. Yeah, I I'm knew you were going to pick it. Really excited for this game. It's it's reaching back into my demented childhood memories of creating roller coasters that didn't have an end, and I would just launch people across my park. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now I can do that with dinosaurs, which I'm excited for. Um, I know I plan on playing the game a lot. I plan on streaming it a lot. Um, I want that to kind of be my thing when that comes out. I'm again. I'm really optimistic that it'll come out this year. Um, I think it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, it's not one of those ones where people are like, well, it might not. They're not really talking about it, which they're not really talking about it. But uh, I'm still optimistic. I'm just excited for it. It's always been something I've loved um, since I barely was able to play it on my Windows Vista ran PC <laughs> back in when I was just a lad. But I'm excited for it. Yeah, that that game looks great. And and there's a there's a coin you can flip here that's going to be like a oh, negative no. or a positive. Yeah. I don't know if you want the good news or the bad news. Hit me game. with the bad. Bad news is I'm pretty sure this is only going to be available on Windows Store, not mm-hmm. on Steam. Oh, okay. Um, which is kind of annoying. I've heard it's kind of obtuse and hard to get in there and buy a game mm-hmm. and install it. And you can't launch it from Steam. you got to go into oh, gotcha. Windows every time gotcha. you want to play that game. That's the negative. The, the positive side is that any game you buy on Windows, for the most part, mm-hmm. is going to be playable on your Xbox, Xbox too. Yeah. Oh, cool. So if you have, yeah. or have a thing where you can't get to one thing, you can yeah, play yeah. it on the other. That's really so cool. That's pretty cool. Good so you'll have, you'll have the duo because it's enough. an Xbox exclusive plus yeah, Windows. Yeah. Good enough. Um, but we'll probably just play on PC, I would assume. Yeah, yeah I would assume I'd play it on PC. But Me too. Yeah, that, why not? Yeah, but if you buy it, but the, you want to buy it on PC, I don't get why they don't do, I don't understand that. Like, I bought Gears of War 4 on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought a physical copy and there's no way for me to get the Play it on, yeah. play it on your PC. You have to buy it on Windows Store and you get both, but if I buy it on the console, I'll just get that one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah like they that. should probably fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying, but that's kind of cool. cool. So we could always go back and forth, or yeah. like if I can't get it on a computer, we can still play. I, I don't know if there's going to be like a cooperative mode. I don't know. I have no idea. Player, but I can't wait. I can't wait either, man. Uh, hope I'm sure. You think we'll get announced in E3? They, I mean, they have to. When, when did they talk about it? You know, when's the last time we've heard about it? E3. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> last year. So I. Think I know what your number one is, and I'm so surprised that you left a different one off. Yeah, we'll talk about it when you. We'll talk about it. What's your number two? My number two is God of War. (laughs) Woo! Um, And and it's interesting because like I'm not the biggest God of War fan. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't own a PS2, and I didn't own a PS3 till a while into the cycle. So I went back and I played those originals on the PS3 because they remastered them. Right. Uh, and I I liked them, but I, I they 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 date fast. Right. I uh, don't like not controlling the camera. That just drives me crazy, mm-hmm. especially when it zooms. I just played God of War three really recently. Actually, mm-hmm. it zooms all the way, and I can't see. It. I'm getting damaged, mm-hmm. and I die. I'm like I don't even know where I am. Anyway, this is camera stuff. But I like the history of it. The, the playing with mythology is super loose on all of it, but it's fun. No, that it's that's totally ac- fun. It's accurate. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's exactly. I, I mean, go, go read the Odyssey. Kratos just destroys everything. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the but Bible. It's, it's kind of fun Bible. to play like an antihero, and yeah. he, I mean, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he, you know, destroys the entire world, the Greek world. He just annihilates it, and then God of War, and then it ends. You know, it's kind of over. The the post credit scene, he has left a trail of his own blood after he tries to kill himself off the side of the cliff for like, like oh, the umpteenth time. Yeah, he didn't he die. Didn't die. Turns out, and then so I wasn't pre. Predis- predisposed to be super pumped for God of War mm-hmm. when they announced it. But everything about it, it just clicks all of my buttons. Mm-hmm. Third person, story-based, narrative, action. Sony's behind it with all of their narrative will that they love Santa on Monica all their Studios games. Santa and, Monica Studios. Yeah. They, I love the third person. Like I can, I can, I control the camera now. Corey um, Barlog is back as director, so it's in... He did too, right? Yep. Yeah, so, so that was one of the better stories, I yep. thought, too. Um, but just, and they're just remaking Kratos. Mm-hmm. And I am super intrigued. As a massive Last of Us fan, I love the idea of him and his son mm-hmm. kind of going on this long, perilous journey and like getting to know each other and Kratos being a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the music is beautiful and the the artwork and like screenshots I've seen are just blow me away. Mm-hmm. And I, I love those kind of games. I mm-hmm. just am so, like the puzzles and the action, 
Oh my god, I just can't wait. This is just right up my alley. It's like everything I want to play video games for. Comes out on 420. On yeah, it's 420. It's, I'm taking 420 off and everyone's going to think I'm smoking. And yeah, I don't, I don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm going to be like, I'm like no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it off for God of War. Just lie to them. Like, yeah, They're like, I prefer sure, to think bro, you were smoking. Them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, midnight release, man. I'm going to go get it. Um, that's a game, like, that's a game I'm buying a physical copy of. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, so I might even get the collector's edition. Which is funny because someone uh, from Sony Santa Monica tweeted this past week that uh, uh, God of War comes out on pot day and the special edition costs nice 99 because it's sixty nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Pot day for nice 99. Yeah. yeah. And it, the statue it comes with is beautiful and I... I kind of have a few of those. Oh, around, that so. version of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the that 150. One's, that, one's, that one's more expansive. Yeah, <laughs> but the cool thing is I have a nerdy girlfriend and everything's half off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if she wants the statue, so. Uh, Perfect. Absolutely excited for that. In April, and it's right around the corner. It's going to ha- come so quickly. Yeah, so, like real soon. So, yeah, that's yeah. my number two. Excellent. All right. My number one, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like what we're, God we damn had it. a rule. We you had that twice That was your number five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, God of War. I mean, that's my number one. Oh, I, nice. I, I, I played the first game. I, mean, I played all the games. As soon as they came out, I played the PSP games. I thought they were fantastic. Yeah, I even started. played the mobile game, which was pretty good for the time that it came out for a mobile game. Yeah. Um, I mean, it wasn't great. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> as far as, like, playing on my little phone. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was fine. But, um... Uh, yeah, Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus were the two PSP games. They were really, really good. Um, I, I have I, it on PSP too. I forgot yeah, about I've, that. Yeah, I've enjoyed that series from the beginning. I like that it's matured a lot. So I was going to say, so you have a different, totally different perspective on yeah. it. So yeah. when you see, I know someone who loved the originals and is really upset that the chains are gone. Oh, I'm, no, no. Like, that, like, he's like, like what? the newest trailer, I love that you, like, there's even a scene where they took the time to, like, show the, the bandages on his wrists are falling off. Yes. And he tightens them up again. Like, that's all coming back into play. Like, the Blades of Chaos not being there is good. I like that he's got this new badass uh, axe. axe. To match, it matches, yeah. right? I mean, and it's got, you notice that the uh, the thing that on his back that holds it is an Omega symbol, right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so they, cool. yeah I, I love the, uh, I mean, if I was going to get more God of War, I needed it to change because. Uh, Agreed. The last one, I wasn't super fond uh, of. What, Ascension? Ascension, yeah. yeah. It just felt like more of the same. Yeah. So it felt like they needed to make another God of War and no one was excited about it. It feels like there's been enough time. Corey took enough time. He came back and he said, you know, what would be interesting with Kratos? He had just had a son and was re- learning like all these... He's like, you know, what if Kratos, what if this guy who's done this whole, whole life has a, gets another chance to have another family? And, it's like, almost impossible to imagine him being redeemed. Right, I, right. Can't wait to find out. How and that's the great thing is, we, like, we don't need to spend too much time with it. But like, it starts off with his. I mean, it's, this isn't a spoiler. It's in the trailers. His wife is. He's he's found a family. He's, right. He's raised a child, or starting to raise a child. She's obviously probably gone younger than she should be gone. gone. Kidnapped, dead. We don't know. Yeah, she no, she's dead. She's wrapped. Oh, up. she is. Yeah, dead? she's wrapped. The, the new trailer. Like, oh, that, I've seen that trailer. Yeah. I, didn't, I guess I didn't get that. That was her. Um, that's right. That's yeah. right. I forgot about that trailer. It's him and his son. They're gonna take the ashes to the farthest peak. So that's where the story starts, but obviously some some stuff's going to go Sounds down. Sounds going down. <laughs> yeah, it isn't just going to be like antics a, will ensue. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, lot, yeah. lot of murder. Um, <laughs> and Corey did say that it's not. A lot of people saw the new setting and went, "Oh, he's just going to kill all the Norse gods." Yeah. It's not. He isn't going to go a hit list of all the Norse. Yeah, it's not no. the same. Story. He doesn't have. Yeah, he doesn't blame them for like <laughs> when like something happens like early on and there right. turns out the Norse gods killed his family. Um, <laughs> Uh, or his, uh, but yeah, it's, that would be a disappointing. Yeah, that would, I, I don't think they will. That's yeah. the whole point of this. It's going to be different. Yeah, and I'm excited for that. I like the idea of a more thoughtful Kratos, but still a very angry Kratos when he needs to be. Yeah, um, he's kind of taking the lessons that you learned from playing video games and applying it to his son, <laughs> like you know, learning to control the rage and channel it through you know thought. Think. And, yeah, yeah, and, and so. Yeah, I mean, God of War is going to be fantastic. And again, maybe it's extra on my list high, so high because it's right around the corner. It's right I mean, there. Yeah. yeah, it's only a few months, and yeah, I can't wait to play it, man. All right, my number one, real quick, maybe or maybe not to your surprise, is going to be State of Decay 2. Yeah. What were, oh. you, what were you thinking, Liz? Well, I wasn't the number one. Well, one, I wasn't sure if you were going to pick Last of Us because it says 2018. It's not happening. That's it's not it. happening. I have it on my it list. And totally totally agree. Look. look Crossed off, yeah, off the list. absolutely. I had it there and took it off because yeah. I'm like that anthem. Then got I remember that I got that pushed was, back. 
without question, my number one. Because I, I, I looked it up and I was like, what? Is that coming out this year? And it, everywhere listed, it says 2018, but it's just... It's not going to happen. It, no. Definitely not. Like, I've never thought it was going to be 2018. Even no. when they, the first trailer came out... We, Fall we 2019 would probably be likely... I, I would, know, da- I would go with that. If, if God of War does well in its time slot, April, April of next yeah. year, maybe. Definitely next year, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the other, there's another game, though, that I was waiting to hear. Maybe I forgot one. Crackdown. No. Yeah, Free. no, no. Like a, <laughs> no, no, and, you and, and don't get me wrong, I've always loved Crackdown, mm-hmm. and I'm a big Terry Crews fan. Shout out to Old Spice. Um, <laughs> uh, flame Sacks. That's a Tide commercial. It's, uh, what? It's a Tide commercial. What's a Tide commercial? Did you not watch the Super Bowl? You get, Super no, Bowl? You no, see I any? didn't see any of the good Never commercials. Mind. God damn it. <laughs> I'm left out of the joke. Oh, man. Um, they kept creating commercials that you, you knew were, like, old. they did an Old Spice one with the, the, the guy. Really? Not Terry Crews, the other guy. an commercial or a, a car and, commercial. And then they would interrupt it, and we'd go, ha! Nah, it's just a Tide commercial. <laughs> anyway, God damn sorry, it. I didn't mean to God damn job. it, and I didn't know. Um, no, Crackdown was one I, I'm excited for, but I, I hate the feeling of being jerked around like that, where they keep bringing it up and then dropping it and then bringing it up. Yeah, we haven't kind of, heard anything literally not two E3 A couple Terry trailers that didn't show much. Which yeah. I can appreciate. I haven't seen any gameplay yet. Yeah, I'm just, I kind of lost I'm, a lot I'm of that. I'm kind of not convinced. I don't know if it's, like, uh, it won't go that far, but I'm like, I don't know, they've canceled a few... No, games. yeah, I've, I'm, I'm not entirely sure it's going to happen. That's yeah. a lot to do after the marketing they've uh, well, what little marketing they've done. But it wasn't cheap getting him involved, you know, Terry mm-hmm. Crews. But uh, it'd be crazy to cancel it. But that was kind of a thought I had as well. Um, but yeah, so that's why I chose State of Decay too. Um, I loved State of Decay. I didn't play it on the 360. I waited, not purposely. It just it didn't come across my attention until the Year One edition came out on Xbox One, um, mm, okay. two or three years ago. <clears throat> um, played the crap, like over a hundred hours into that game. And there isn't even over 100 hours of content in that game. I just <laughs> loved it. I loved that world. I loved the jankiness of it. I love that it never really worked the way it was supposed to. The zombies moved kind of funny. Jumping through windows almost never worked. But I, I loved how everything felt really manual. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when you cleared a house, you literally went in and, okay, that one's done, and you crossed it out. And I was like, oh, that's cool on your map. You're like, I know I did that already. Yeah. That's really cool. So that always... Gives you that sense of progress. Yeah, it's, it was always really nice. It was nice, um, you know, being able to build a community. But if you wanted a small community, you kept it a small community. You wouldn't let people in. You wouldn't talk to people. You wouldn't deal with people. But if you wanted to capture an airplane hangar and you were willing to spend the resources to keep up that management, um, you could have 40 people there living there and farming and have a hospital area. Or it could just be you and three other dudes hanging out. Like, yeah. whatever you're into. It was all that, permadeath too, right? It was was permadeath yeah so you had multiple characters who you could control you didn't have one guy that you created it was just people so the guy you begin you start as in the beginning of the game if you die you jump to the next guy mm-hmm. then you don't get that character back which is which is always really cool to me as well so. yeah it makes you really not want to die if you yeah. become attached you know? yep sort of like xcom as, as, as the xcom thing of yeah. like oh gary was my best <laughs> <laughs> now gary's dead gary's gone because you made a fucked bad up choice. Yeah. <laughs> no I, i'm really excited for it though yeah, that's a good choice. I did not, I did not expect that one. Yeah. Um, I, and I wonder, is that the same thing where they're going to have the PC Xbox back? I don't know. I would imagine. I would imagine. Like, it seems like yeah. Yeah. There you go. So you can buy it on Windows. I plan Store. on playing that on Xbox though. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just I mean, make sure you buy it on the Windows Store. Though, yeah. So you yeah, get yeah. both copies sure. in case you want to stream it, rather than buying it on Xbox and, and not, not being on able to get yeah. PC. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, that's that's a really good choice actually. Thanks. I did not think about that at all. And I, I've been interested to play. I didn't play State of Decay One at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are some people I know that did play it, and they Love have those it. kind of stories, yeah. like the kind of the story I was just telling from Red Dead Redemption, thing. a story that no one else could possibly yeah, right. have from there. They, they'll never have another experience like that. Yeah. So that's a good choice. I, I did not think about that one. Um, so my number one is we were saying we were talking earlier about what is Rocksteady doing, and they just disappeared for several years. Right. Never heard of it. So the other one that I was wondering before E three is like, where the fuck is Sucker Punch? Oh, yeah. And it would be my other choice as a developer to build a Spider-Man game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's a, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I'm so glad they're not. What are they? Wait, wait, what are they doing right because now? Because they are making Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. How did I forget? Oh, Is that yeah. coming out this year? It's slotted for 2018. Wow. It's been in development for four years now. That's right. So I'm thinking... I if, completely forgot. I'm that would be somewhere on my list. They're going to nail that. Whole, this is my dream scenario. I forgot all about it. Is that, that we get to E3 and they say... Because they've been 
quiet on it since mm-hmm. they released that first trailer. Right. I'm hoping we get to E3 and they say, you know, November 17th or October 26th right. or whatever it is. Yeah. More studios are doing that, and I appreciate that. Oh, oh, yeah. well, what was it? Beth- Bethesda last E3, they announced a slate of, like, eight games. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, they're all coming out this year. That's my favorite <laughs> And thing. they meant it. That's my <laughs> and they thing. all came out and that year. We didn't spend and they were amazing. getting yeah. pumped for it and waiting and waiting. Yeah. It was like... And that, yeah. and that, 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 that ended up being Prey and Wolfenstein mm-hmm. 2 and, like, a bunch of other great but you're games. right, this game, like... Everything, so it, it's sort of like God of War, like, I've found, I have a lot of different games, kinds of games I play, mm-hmm. but the ones that grab me the most are these third-person, story-based action games, whether it's Witcher, or Last of Us, or Horizon. Uncharted, Horizon, yep. those are like, if I can pick any kind of game, it's, That's, it's definitely I'm right there with these yeah, 100%, so yeah. I get so attached to those. Yep. Um, and this, just the idea that it's, it's actual history, which yeah. is, is really fun for me. Uh, samurai, the, this idea open of world. open world, Gorgeous. beautiful Gorgeous open too. World. Like I don't know if you remember that trailer. Like oh, hardly. So I will show I it to you again. Forgot about the game. To be honest with you, like and and I just feel like we haven't had. This is the Assassin's Creed game that Assassin's Creed fans have been asking for yeah. forever. Yeah, do it in Japan. It's you know the samurai are the or are the order of Templars and the ninjas are the yeah. assassins. How could have you not done this yet? And then Sucker Punch is like, we got this. <laughs> Set this one up. <laughs> and the idea of it being an action RPG and I can equip different kinds of samurai armor and katanas and different, uh, you know, probably what, nunchucks? You'll and, like, probably have a lot of spears tools and that you're going to be able to, like, do some stealth, but Ninja uh, stars. Go, go go hard if stuff goes down. Like, it, it'll be a mixture of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, stealth action. Yeah. Um, You'll with, be able to look at a scene and decide, how do I want to solve this Puzzle box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And and just the the kind of the story setup, which mm-hmm. is if you know Tsushima is an island that's actually pretty far removed from Japan, um, and it's 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 closer toward China and Korea. Mm-hmm. So the Khans, the Mongols, conquered Korea, and then they invaded Japan via Tsushima. Tsushima was like they were going to land all their ships there, and then they could, re- they could go at Japan multiple angles from that island. And they took that island, and they burned it to the ground, and like it was like a horrible defeat for the Japanese. So the setup for the game there's is one man. There's one man who <laughs> his family has been killed or whatever, yeah. like and you're going to yeah. single handedly just wreck these Mongols who are going to fear you. That's why you're called the Ghost because you just come out of nowhere and you kill everyone. And oh, I just. Everything about the set of that game has me. And the so two excited. actors that they've announced so far, who are the you know the main guy and then also the, the Mongol, I believe. Uh, God, who, which actor is it? Oh yes, I don't remember but either. The, even I can hear the trailer his voice is, right now. Yeah, the trailer is that one scene, and that one scene it's is like him. more like. <laughs> Like, oh, if they have just, like, a handful of moments like that in the game, I already... If the excited, tone is... Yeah. I, I, like seri- I like things to be taken seriously, and I, the, the tone of that felt like a really well-made historical film, which is also my kind of movie, yeah. so... What I, what I think most excites me about the game is the fact that the studio has said that they cut together and they said, what's the one game we all want to play, but no one is making? Yes. Yeah. And they made it. And yeah. I'm like, that's, that's a just... Passion project, yep. totally, but a big one. So it's a like a big one, yeah. and, and anything under Sony's wing. Sony has just basically been gold for this whole generation with yeah. all of their exclusives for the most part. And I don't know. I, I seriously doubt that it's going to be 2018, but I'd give an honorable mention yeah, to it whatever was, the hell so- from software is working on. Is oh, my, oh, that, like, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what that one image is, but I want to yep. play it. Please be Bloodborne too. <laughs> it won't. See, here's the thing. Uh, the right, the, the, like this is not new to most people. Um, the writing in the background, if I remember, is uh, is Asian, so it's either like hiragana, katakana, uh, uh, kanji, and things of that nature. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, didn't Tenchu is that the series they did from Software back in the day? They did done, a few. They, so they did a mech game. It, yeah. So wouldn't it be cool if it's mechs? <laughs> right. I don't know no. Why, but, <laughs> no, it wouldn't be cool. Dark if it's Souls mech Dark game. Souls mech. No. <laughs> mech Souls. Oh, oh mech wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's not mine. That's not mine. That's uh, I think Way Forward said that. It's funny they've had the exact same thing they, the on their podcast because they, they like mechs and they love you know and they they had said it and I'm like God that would be good but whatever it is like honestly just a uh, a Bloodborne set in Japan maybe cool yeah it could like, be like I mean, blo- actually Blood Bloodborne two could be set, where, could be set anywhere yeah, yeah they, I mean, they've kind so. of done English. Kind of like Victorian, Victorian, yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, let's do let's do something in a different region. Let's do that. I'm Why not? 
I'm in for that. Bloodborne is one, one of, of my favorite, favorite games. Period. Games. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's like probably period. my top ten or fifteen. Games Talk about we've I've brought it up a few times, like dream, uh, peanut butter jelly dreams. Um, <laughs> if they made and no restrictions, like could make it as violent and or whatever as they want, <laughs> and with very little story, even do do the story the way they do their the story way they down. do stories. Castlevania. I, I mean, oh yeah, I know. Dude, what is it? The uh, there's an area in Bloodborne that's basically Castlevania, like yeah, a game. Sp- like, like the game is very much so. But you go to the the castle with the with the a, blo- uh, a blood hearst or yeah, uh, I know exactly. But, the, yeah, Kane Hearst or something. You got the, the one where you have to like get the there tub, via yeah. the uh, the wagon, right? That takes the wagon, you there. and yes. they've even got at the top of it. You got to go up a giant flight of stairs to go fight basically Dragula. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, or, I'm like that was them basically saying, "Hey, maybe, uh, maybe you guys pop, 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 pop. I'm like, if they did Castlevania, I would just, yeah, I would, <laughs> I would be very happy. Yeah, that is a that's a mar- that's a marriage. Yeah, right there that I, I need I that. Die. But unfortunately, this does not look like it'll be Castlevania. No, so it doesn't. Negative. It doesn't. But yeah. I'll take whatever it is, yeah, like yeah, anything. Yeah. All right, boys. That's it. That's it. All right. That is that is the the podcast, guys. Uh, thank you so much for for joining us. We're gonna kind of cut it off pretty quick because we're already an hour and a half. I was like, Sorry. pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> well, I, well I, no, I mean like, yeah, yeah, for being an hour and a half. We're like, all right, bye. Totally, yeah. Uh, but Ryan, man, so Ryan, awesome to you have you. Us. Thank you. We always have a blast. <laughs> I flip the table right at the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Pour water all over the mic. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, dude. Awesome. I know it's a journey Thanks. for you to to get to my house. No problem. No problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, love having you. Just let me know like seriously any you're welcome any week you awesome. ever want to come fantastic uh, we generally always do on fridays so sounds good love to have you tuesdays. and uh, tuesdays tuesdays well that's yeah, that's yeah, the, I, I know. yeah, we <laughs> do it on, yeah we, tuesday we did the work uh, we did yeah, yeah, yeah. tuesday um, but uh, and uh, we'll have to come back with some of these games after they're out yeah, right? and, uh, Maybe, yeah. and have our impressions of them. Maybe so. mid year, toward the end of the year, we'll come back. And uh, Red back Dead and... comes out in October, yeah. so yeah. One of, my, uh, one of my favorite things uh, Gamers with Jobs does, uh, uh, they do a bold predictions podcast. Mm. And then every year when they do their bold predictions podcast, the first thing they do is they go back and they've pulled out snippets of their predictions from the previous year. Yeah. And that's oh, always no. fun to just oh, be like, oh, did I say that? make fun of each other? Because <laughs> it's, it's weird to hear, like, in the course of just 12 months, like, predictions about the Switch and how it, what it's going to do. And so I'm like, that's always interesting. Because well, it just takes one article. Right. And then, oh, everything changed. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. One so, announcement from Nintendo, yeah. and uh, suddenly we've got Labo. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, thing. to look back at the games that, that, that we're all excited about and be like, why was I excited for this? Yeah. Or be like, man, I had no idea it was going to be so good. It's a mess. Bold prediction. Madden will come out in August. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for joining us. And uh, comment some of your your top games you cannot wait for. We probably just named them all, to be well, honest. Yeah. yeah I we don't have a lot of... <laughs> they, haven't, they haven't announced a lot yet. Yeah. Been yeah. Kind there's of stuff a, that, could, that could come out. I've heard that we don't so know many about. rumors that there's... I've heard so many people say, just wait. I, I think there's going to be a lot of cool. announcements, not even just at E3, like leading into E3. Yeah, I think we're going to get a lot of interesting... Th- <gasps> we think Far Cry. I didn't even mention Far Cry. Completely forgot. <laughs> eh, eh. But anyway, there's, there's a lot <laughs> yeah, of... I'm surprised it's not on your list. You yeah. Like for... yeah. I, just... I, I think I'm okay uh, not playing in a world with a bunch of it's so uh, goofy. religious... Uh, racist redneck, See, redneck I like that. stuff like I like, like that. I've got I've got that going on in the real world right yeah. now. Right? <laughs> I don't, don't want to play that game at this moment. I'm like, yeah. Oh it's my like, god. I play games to escape. Not to be <laughs> no, like, I can see this happening next week. Yeah, that is this actually probably a simulation. Percent accurate. <laughs> no, they just real quick. The old uh, like three and four in particular kind of took place on like weird islands in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So all that stuff could actually be happening. Right. In this game, where is it? Like North Carolina. It's in uh, Montana. Montana, Montana but but you're in plain fights. Right, in I'm like, like the, just leave. Like, where's the military? federal government? Where's the what, government? Well, they, what, they've what been cut off. I'm sure they're going to have a reason for it. Yeah. But I'm like, if I can get in a plane and crop, and crop dust, why can't I just fly yeah. out and get help? Yeah, <laughs> like, it, and I'm sure there will be. Maybe we've got like a, an implant or a, uh, like a, a thing on our leg that'll explode. They, there's there's got to be something. Keep something like, I mean, it yeah. better be a good explanation because we've seen in real life like you put a cult in a church on the top of a hill and say I might start killing people, and the federal government shows up and lights your building on fire and exactly. kills everyone. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's better be yeah. a good reason it's for it. Be, yeah. People That's a game I'm going to pick up on sale. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. for it, but I'm not going to pay $60 yeah. for it. No, no. Agreed. Agreed. All right. This is going to be our fourth outro because we can't escape our conversation. How about Fortnite? Let's Which talk about is, Fortnite. We make a, <laughs> How great is Fortnite? But that's so a good, good podcast because like, the three of us could just talk forever yeah. about games and movies and shows. So uh, join us again. We'll definitely have Ryan back. Uh, he's one of our favorite guests. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Later. Later. Bye.